live broadcast on Voice of Biafra 97.1, 97.5 FM. Enter Biafra Channel 1 and 2. Enter Biafra live streaming app. And of course, both on iOS and Android. And then you are watching on all autopiloted IPOB platform. We are hooking up even from the satellite all over the world. I want to inform you today that we are doubling the dragon fire on Barista Age of Four. I want everybody to understand that what we are doing now is preamble. The preamble to the treacherous criminality and betrayal of Barista Ejo 4 to the struggle of Biafra and to Mazi Namdekano. The only thing that will stop me is Barista Ejo 4 leaving the legal team. Then I will keep quiet and allow Onyendu to come out and finish the rest. That's all. My condition is that Barista Jofo should leave the legal team and allow those who have not sold their hand in criminality and betrayal to take over and continue the case. When only do come out, I will table my finding to him. So, because Barista Jofo have not announced that he has stepped down, let us begin to tear the table. Welcome this evening, invite all of them to come. We are just 26 minutes into the game. And we're not wasting time because there is no time to waste. So let us go straight to the exposition. The question we are going to be addressing today is, Barista Ejo 4, was he part of those who masterminded the kidnapping of Mazin Abdikano from Kenya? Number one question. Was Barista Ejo for part of those who planned it? Number two. Was Barista Ejo for or is Barista Ejo for part of those who mastermind killing of hefty and powerful commanders of the Eastern Security Network? This particular exposition today goes to those who are still in communication with Barista Ejofo, especially the commanders on ground. So here we go. The exposition of Barista Ejofo will take time because I am just starting from what is in the public. First of all, I have made it very clear. Yesterday, I said Barista Ejofo has never paid any, made any sacrifice for representing Mazin Ambikano and IPUB. Barista Ejo 4 has accused Emeko Ofo of being the one who want to kill him. So everything about Barista Ejo 4 being attacked as those narrative, those fake narrative is a lie. Everything that claim that, you know, that Barista Ejo 4 claim that, uh, that, uh, um, you know, that uh, he's being persecuted for, for, for defending Onyendu is a lie. So we are going to start what we call pool. The pool is that Barry Stage of 4 must leave. Oh, sorry. Barry Stage of Four must leave the legal team. And then you vote yes, leave. No. This is just a small experiment 
we are not, uh, uh, you know, it's just a small experiment. Now we are going to start. But you may also wish not to vote yet. Where is our... One moment. Here we go. Already 650 vote. <laughs> people are people are mad. You have to wait first. Let us go there. I want everybody to watch. Go for it. I have these names. Felix Ogo Emeka. Okara for Lawrence Ugochuku. I believe Gentle Lion is your PA, right? It's not Gentle Lion. It's not Gentle Lion. It's not, it's not Gentle Lion. Page of four, lied here that Gentle Lion is not the name of the person who they call the PA. So, Barrister of four, can Barrister of four tell us which of the Gentle is it, but is the name Gentle? Something else, or is it gentle lion? Okay, I want you to understand that Barrister Jofor claim here on live video that the name of the person he called his PA is not a gentle lion. So, can we hear what kind of gentle is attached to the name? Is it a gentle something? Is it a gentle snake? Is it a gentle dragon? Is it a gentle lion? Is it a gentle odomu? Is it a gentle nukapi? Is it a gentle busu? We want to know, Barrister Jofo, which of the gentle Barrister Jofo is talking about? Gentle Jack? Okay, so gentle Jack. All right. So oh, is it gentle Jack? And how many gentle do we have? I want everybody to watch. Let me let me okay. let me, let me, let me, let me, so, let me so, no no hold on. This okay. Okay, go ahead. I mean, the, the reason why I'm let saying me, it. Let me give uh, the names. This the names are just. Let the me names give are you, just railed out. Yeah, Ugochuku is my gardener. He's my gardener mm -hmm. and the cook to my basic staff. The question that, that was presented to Barista Ijofo is, the names that was read out, and they say gentle lion. Ijofo say. Gentle Lion is not his name. Now he begins to mention the name instead of telling us what is the name of that PA. Henry uh, Mecca is my is my son PA. They've been in this place for the past, they've been coming to my they've been in my house for the past one to two years ago. My PA for the past four years. We go through telling last year to join them. I brought him and I'm paying the salary. I have their sleep. I'm paying the salary every month. I pay the salary. This is my staff in my house. No, they don't step out of my gate. Now, let me say this to you, because in the fullness of time, a lot of people will come to the public. It is coming. When they were planning this thing, something happened. When they were planning this thing, something happened. I do not know what they were planning. And I don't know what, who was planning this thing that Barista Ejofo is talking about. Barista Ejofo say, when they were planning this thing, something happened. Barista Ejofo has a mirror in his house where he see how they were planning it and how the thing happened. What Barista Jofo is telling you here is that indirectly telling you that when they were planning this thing, something happened. How can you be, how can you know when people are planning to kill you and you know when something happened? Barista Jofo is indirectly explaining what they have planned in the past. And as they were planning that thing, something happened. Otherwise, I want you people to ask Ejofo, did Ejofo have Miro in his house where he monitored his enemy as they were planning to invade his house? And during the planning, something happened. I want everybody to pay attention. 
we are here to do in-depth analysis and expose a geo four. And this is not a secret one, no. You know, I told you people that I'm starting from the open one. It's not gentle lion. It's not gentle lion. It's not gentle lion. Okay. But let me let me let me say okay. this to you. Let me let me so, let me. Then, so, let me no, no, hold on. This, he said the name is not Gentle Lion. He did not tell us what is the name. Let me give you the uh, name. And I want you people to understand that Ajo 4 singled out only that name. All the name that was mentioned by this man was all correct to Ajo 4. To the best knowledge of Baris Ajo 4, they were all correct. The only time the name was not correct is when Gento was mentioned. So we are going to take this in a little bit. Are you hearing it? A buffer is the person who is after my life. Listen to it again. Oh. When I was coming back before that incident, they are also away. Because whilst the area commander of my division, of my command is away, I believe CP and by extension, everybody working, working for operating for should be away. So, but I'm not in any way indicting him. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not because he was very plain as to this. He told the world, he told he told the CP that why was this thing going on? He also told everybody that he wasn't done enough. So I know how a four is not indicting the commissioner of police because according to a four, the commissioner of police is very clean. It's very plain. Commissioner of Police, as a lawyer that a Geoffroy is, a Geoffroy has investigated the Commissioner of Police. The Commissioner of Police's hand is not there because he believed the Commissioner of Police. But the Commissioner of Police, the Commissioner of Police in a Geoffroy's state. So if a Geoffroy is a lawyer, as he claimed to be international erudite, he, a Geoffroy did not know that Commissioner of Police in Anambra should be held responsible first. It does not matter what the commissioner of police say, but because he is the commissioner of police of Anambra State, so as a lawyer, a four should first of all hold the commissioner of police looking after Anambra responsible. From there, from there, he pick it up. But of course, no, a four knows already that commissioner of police should be exonerated. <laughs> okay, yeah, because it was very very plain in this case. So let us continue. It was planned because I, I, I am in Abuja. Mm -hmm. So I know how it was planned. Eventually, I got information about how it was planned. Mm -hmm. so it was fully planned and orchestrated by Don AIG John Abba. Okay. Now they call, my brother, they call. He knows, uh, 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 said it was planned and orchestrated by AIG Abba. Ejofo have not taken AIG Abba to court. Or, oh, well, if you have done that, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> he went to court with the federal government. They compensated Ejiofo. Ejiofo have not done criminal charges against the person he saw in the mirror called AIG Abang, who orchestrated this, planned this thing and orchestrated it. Ejiofo still allow him, as a Rudite international report lawyer, a very international respected lawyer, as he claimed, the lawyer that uh, everybody is following, Nina Kwewebo is following, the pastors are following, he don't. He knows who planned his assassination, according to him. And with the lawyer experience, he could not make a criminal charges against this particular person whom a Jofo have seen in the mirror. Planning have to kill him. Okay? Till today, a Jofo has been compensated and the people whom invented the Jofo house, nobody has been able to apprehend them for crime. But they have actually compensated the Jofo and the court in Nigeria have said that Nigeria police or EDSSO, they did a very bad thing. They committed atrocity in the Jofo's house by compensating him. So if a court in Nigeria can found the Nigeria DSS guilty of committing atrocity in Nigeria's house. Why have they not arrested the people who committed the crime? I want you people to understand that this was when the kidnap of Mazin Namdikano was in high tension. I want you people to watch. 
Oh, my some person, what some person that killed Yusuf, Yusuf was found out of the was not any place he found himself, he was looking for Arabian to get from Yusuf. So he killed Yusuf. Are you hearing where he is going? He said that this man was the same person who killed Yusuf. Is a Jofo linking Yusuf to Mazen Namdekano situation? Or what is a Jofo trying to do here? That it is the same person who killed Yusuf. Boko Haram, I want you to know where Jofo is going, though. Know. You know, uh, at the end of this broadcast, you will never remain the same. Unuga, unugi, un, you, you people are going to throw up today. You are going to throw up. Which led to the broken across the office. You can verify what I'm telling from police authority. You killed him. And he was returned for one year. The first assignment he took up after I was coming to the Arab State to be to appoint the commission of police and Arab State. And see what happened. We saw what happened on September 7, 2019. So, and he never arrested. Because the man working with him told him I want to get me down at any at all cost any enemies. Did you hear that? The man working with him, the man working with him told him he want to get a job for down at all cost. A job for did not tell you that it is because, of course, even if he said that, it's not true. It's not because a job for is representing IPOB. It's not because a job for is representing Mazinam the Kanu. I want you people to understand this. That while Mazin Namdekanu was in Kenya, a GO4 has no single application pending on behalf of Mazin Namdekanu. A GO4 did not file any application on behalf of IPOB that the Nigeria government invented Mazin Namdekanu house, they killed people, they tried to kill him. A GO4 did not file any application that warrant Nigeria government to look for him. But, you know, I don't know it all. But if a Jofo have actually filed application like that, please forgive me. But did you hear that a Jofo filed application on behalf of Mazin Namdi Kano? Why Mazin Namdi since 2017? Did a Jofo go to court to file application against Nigeria government that they want to kill Mazin Namdi Kano? A Jofo did not do that. So why should all of, a, so all of a sudden they want to kill a Jofo? When a Jofo is not fighting them. When a Jofo is not fighting the government. This what I'm explaining now is going, going to those who always claim that a Jofo have sacrificed something and that is why we are doing this. And No, a Jofo have not sacrificed not even one Kobo for IPOB. A Jofo rather is benefiting. And all of you are going to be shocked today. So the question is, who and why should Nigeria government want to kill a Jofo when a Jofo don't have any case in court against them? A Jofo have not filed application against Nigeria government that Mazinam the Kano, you want to kill him and he ran away. A Jofo didn't do that. He have not challenged Nigeria government. So why would they want to kill him? I want you people to watch. Another man That's a person who is after my life. Did you hear that? Another man who is after my life is a maker for what concern a maker for and Biafra. For those of you who will come to say a Jofo is being persecuted for representing Mazinam the Kano, a Jofo is being persecuted for representing IPOB. Did you hear your erudite lawyer? He said. The person that is after my life is a make of for. Is a make of for now the people that are fighting for Nigeria. I want you to listen to him again. Some person, what some person that killed Yusu. Yusu was found out of Yoko Haram. Was not any person he found himself, never able to get from Yusu. So he killed Yusu, which led to the spread of Boko Haram across the office. You can verify what I'm telling from police authority. You killed him. And he was with them for one year. The first assignment he took up after that was coming to the Arab State to be to appoint the commission of police and Arab State. And see what happened. We saw what happened in my house on September 7, 2019. So, and he never arrested. Because the man working with him told him I want to get me down at any at all cost any enemies. And that man is simply said, That's a person who is after my life. So he's acting in concert with authority. Are you people hearing it? It is a maker for who is after my life. I want you people to bring all those uh, 
irate, all those illiterate who will come and praise you, a job for this, a job for that. Jehovah has paid price. They have attacked his house because of Mazina and Bikano. A maker, a maker of for, he is accusing a maker of for. Is a maker of for the Nigeria Fulani government? No. Is a maker of for the uh, Buhari? No. But, so what is, the question you should be asking this man is what did a maker of for? What business did he have with a maker of for? For a maker of for to be after his life. But I'm telling you here that all these things are lies. All these things are lies. And you are going to see the lie today because that is my job. I will expose a your first lie that a maker of four is not after his life. At least not in this one that, uh, uh, um, uh, what is the name again? Uh, Gento, Commander Gento was killed. Okay? So I want you to, but all, this one now, we have trashed something now. What we have been able to trash today is that those of you who say Jehovah has paid price because his house was attacked is, is a lie. He said that a make offer is after his life. So you should go, the price is paying his price of the business or whatever disagreement between him and a make offer. That one trashed. A Jehovah has not paid price of anything in Biafra. But let us watch. To get me back, to get me down, I don't cause my enemies. And I'm not in any way, in any way, open them. That idiot who is doing this. So you hear that? He said that idiot who is doing this is talking to an individual. He's talking to a maker for. He said he has never offended a maker for. And here you are on social media, gallivanting and displaying your ignorant and itiborable that he make, that uh, Jofo has paid price for Biafra, that his house was attacked, that they want to kill him. Meanwhile, he is telling you the person that wants to kill him is a makeover. Let AIG I have every document, I have information about what he did. And I will establish it with any way I am called upon tomorrow. Okay. This is what I sent them because I have signal as to how the how the was formed. Okay. We have how formed the commission this year. And now he's because AIG Bank is reporting to IG for CID. Mm -hmm. And the central demand is an Indo man. All right. So the IG is wanting to edge it. Okay. So in this case. They notice that once the CP take command in Sandino, that they will tell me. Mm -hmm. and this Remember, he said he has information how everything was formed. I don't know whether well, it your form must be 007, you know, to have gotten information of how everything was formed from beginning to end. He have the signal. I want you people to listen. The circumvented the command, circumvented the command to come on me. Okay. The camera speaks for itself. It's the foot speaks for itself. All right. It's comprehensive enough, enough way detailed to tell that what's happening in my house is a was a clear case of assassination. Okay. Now, okay. You, um, you, you let know. me let me. Sorry, before you go further, I have this name, Felix Okongo Emeka, Oka for Lawrence Ugochuku. Gen. Are people to pay attention? As this guy was calling out these names, none of those names were wrong until they mentioned Gento Lion. Ejiofo interjected immediately. His name is not a Gento Lion. So let us go and hear what Ejiofo... I want you people to pay attention. I want you people to pay attention. Listen. In my house, this day was a clear case of assassination. Now, okay, you, um, you, let, me, let me before you go further. I have these names Felix Okonko Emeka, Okar for Lawrence Ugochuku, Gentle Lion. I believe Gentle Lion is your PA, right? Okay, it's not Gentle Lion, it's not Gentle Lion. All right, Gentle Lion. so what is the name? My brother, let, me, let, me, let me say, okay, uh -huh. let me, let me, so, let me, let me you say. see. You know, uh, the exposition is coming on. It has not started. Or this is just to give you picture how body language of a Jofo changed and how he interjected when that name was mentioned. And I want you to see how his mask start to shake. No, no, hold on. This name. Okay, okay go ahead. I mean, the, let me give you now let him. Let, he's going to give you the names now. That the name is not Gentle Lion. 
So let the Jofor give you the names. What I'm let saying. Me, let me give the names. This the names are just. Let the me names are just real down. Yeah. Ugochuku is my gardener. Okay. My gardener okay. and the cook in the domestic staff. Mm -hmm. Henry uh, Becker is my is my son. Yes. They've been in this place for the past. They've been coming. They've been in my house for the past. The month. question is, there. what is the name of Gentle Lion? My P has been with me for the past four years. Oh, gentle Jack. He me last year to join them. I brought him, and I'm paying the star. Okay. I have the sleep every month. I pay the star. This okay. Are star. you I'm paying not... gentle salary too? Because I demanded that salary sleep. Oh. Uh -huh. They don't step up of my head. Okay. Now let me say this to you, because in the course of time, the yes. information will come to the public. It is coming. When they were planning this thing. Mm -hmm. Something happened. When they were planning it, something happened. And the Jofo know exactly what happened when they were planning it. Remember that the exposition I'm doing today is a Jofo's involvement in eliminating every strong person that were loyal to Mazin Amdikan. And I'll show you, I'll send you a picture after this interview. Okay. Where are those kids that came to my house when they were at the planning stage of this attack? Mm -hmm. On an innocent home. Mm -hmm. On a peaceful home mm -hmm. was taken. Now they broke. I do not know where a Jofor gave the picture of those who were planning this attack in his house, and he got the picture. We have not seen it in the public. But anyway, let us continue. A picture of somebody they called Gentle Lion in Imo State. Are you hearing that? They bring a picture of somebody called Gentle Lion in Imo State. So I don't know. All of you that are in this movement, you can now use your tongue and count your teeth. How many gentle do you have? How many gentle lion or gentle jack or gentle whatever do you have in the ESN of IPOB? I want everybody to, uh, this message now, I am saying, is going to directly to some of you that are communicating with your job. An innocent home, on a peaceful home, was taken. Now, they take a picture of somebody they call the name of state. Okay. I saw it online. All right. That gentle lion in the name of state, Supposed to be was an ESM member according to what they're saying. Uh -huh. According to what they are saying, supposed to be a ESM member. According to what they are saying, a Jofo is not aware. All right, let us continue. Yeah, what I saw online. Uh -huh. then, what he saw online, he didn't know that the person is ESM. All right. They now, you know, just to make it work, now, to make it happen. Uh -huh. To make it work. All right. The person is living in my house. All right. So, to make it work now, like the person is living in my house. What thing I want to tell you that today is that as a Jofo was dumbling here, dumbling here, it happens that at the end, it was that same gentle that a Jofo is dodging and dodging and dodging and dodging because of evil they have committed. A Jofo dodge everything, no, it becomes still at the end that same particular gentle. I want you people to watch. They not showed the authority, the idiots that came, they showed that this. This is the gentle line living with the Jofo. Okay. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, you came to a house of a lawyer. Yeah? A house of a lawyer after 2.30 in the night. All right. Yeah? Two, after 2.30. Two, two, two. He has not said his name. Oh. He has not said his name. Oh. And the Jofo is a lawyer. He is avoiding something because he is thinking what to answer. He is. He has not said the name. Oh. This is the Erudat International Lawyer because. His hand is in the death of Gentle Lion. Or Gentle Jack. I don't know. <laughs> All right. And I was around. You know, I was around. All right. All the circumstances under the, under the rules of engagement. Mm -hmm. No one challenged you. Yes. No one mm -hmm. There was no hand in my house. Yeah. There was no cat in my house. Yes. Now, you got the law to ask, okay, where is this man? Who is the owner of this house? Is he around? Exactly. He said, okay, let me see him. Exactly. Okay, what are you doing here? Mm -hmm. I'm a driver. I'm yes. this one. Yes. I'm this one. Yes. Look at their rooms and see what, what exactly. Room. Mm. Right? And the Jofo is telling you now what is supposed to be the rule of engagement if the people actually came. So if they actually come to kill a Jofo, they would have done the same thing. They would have come. Say, where is the Oga? Where is the man that owned this house? Where is him? We want to see him. And they would have, a Jofo would have opened the door innocently and they would pick a Jofo and wicks a Jofo away. Okay? Isn't it? But this one is that as before they created the scene and acted the movie, because they would have come and knocked at your first house. 
If your phone will just pick phone and call, say, I have people here, uh, DSS are here in my house, so they shouldn't come to her. Even if, so they would have just come and knock in the door of a Jofo and wake everybody. Where is your guy? Where is your guy? You are going with us. That's it. But they have to create this scene so that it will look as if attack and they, they want to kill a Jofo. A Jofo is still inside the house. But when they go to pick Okorocha, Okorocha locked the door. Okorocha was praying. They have to climb the roof of Okorocha, enter the house of Okorocha and pick him. But a Jofo, oh no, I, you are going to hear a story today. I want you people to listen. Right? Assuming you are acting under an intelligent report, supposed to be an intelligent report, to conduct that, to know whether this report and what you are told they are. Mm -hmm. They ask the questions. Okay, what is that? Maybe you can interrogate you further. Okay. This issue. Exactly. Allegations against you. Exactly. Then you know, what happened in your house? Why are they doing, what are they doing in your house? Uh -huh. Now, the same police authority, the same ID of police, yes. told us mm -hmm. that. We are entitled to private security. Uh -huh. you exactly. You have somebody around you. Yes. And so are you insinuating that the person they killed is now, are you claiming that he is now your private security? Because age of you say that, they say you are entitled to private security. So are you trying to insinuate that this particular gentleman now is serving you as a private security? Because we need to know. <laughs> uh, you know, because that you have people around you does not mean that they have to be your security. So if you have, if you are now indirectly saying that gentle uh, Jack or gentle Lion is your security, you say it. We have not answered the question. No, the question was, what is the name of your PA? An event of 2019 uh -huh. has not a six person in my memory. Okay. Because you know, some people were killed in my house. I'll take care of now. Yes. About four houses were born in my house. Exactly. It was a make of no government agency, not even. But I got the state government has given me one dollar to do those ones. Okay. I have to borrow money from friends to fix my house. Mm -hmm. Even when the matter is still in court. All right. Then he was so I'm thinking, this boy, ah, what well, we didn't get him, we have to, have to come back again. Uh -huh. The man, the stupid man, the IG, the one is called to meet Yes. Yes. And he was sending about them. Yeah, yeah, you see with me your makeup. Yes. Are you still hearing it? A makeup for for those of you who are, are saying that Ejiofo is paying price for Biafra and for Mazinam Dikano, Ejiofo has not paid even one Naira price. Ejiofo, people that he is doing business with or he has a problem with, is looking after him. As he claimed, he claimed the maker of And I'm very, very sure hey, that the maker of is not looking for him. <laughs> so, well, I don't know. But as Ejiofo, what is your business with the maker of That the maker of should be looking for your head. So, for those irat and those non-entities who always come to say, leave Paris Ejiofor, he has paid price in this struggle. I have proven it to you today. Ejiofor has mentioned two attacks in his house and he has not accused the federal government because he was a representative as in Andikano. He accused a maker of in both attack. The second attack, I am telling you now, it was planned to kill Jandro. Then they now hatch this evil plan against me. Did you hear that? It your first say they are taking advantage of the hostility in the east. Now, here is where it your first is going to tell you the role he played in the kidnap of Mazen Amdekano. <laughs> you know, people don't <laughs> you people are going to be shocked today. I have waited for this day to come. It your first is going to explain the role he played in killing Eastern Security Network. The role he played in killing Ikonso, the role he played in killing more, more hefty ESN before they finally kidnapped Mazin and the You are going to hear it today. Watch. I know the kind of role I'm playing. Make sure that's peace in our land. Did you hear that? And your father say they don't know the kind of role he is playing to make sure there is peace in our land. Hey, can a Jofo now tell us? What is this role that a Jofo is playing so that there will be peace in our land? I want everybody to pay attention here. A Jofo was playing a role for peace to be in our land. I do not know what war we were fighting that a Jofo want peace in our land. That peace a Jofo, the role a Jofo is playing before the kidnap of Mazen Namdekano, it's still the same role that Jofo is playing today. 
It's a full claim that he needs peace. It's a full claim that he has been having a meeting with governors. I want you to listen, you know, I did not say it. Listen. Some people are benefiting. Or are benefiting from the hostilities. People who are apparently agents of foreign government are people who are interested in getting that thing gone, the expansion gone. Do you hear that? Did you first say that the hostility, the hostility in the Southeast, that people are benefiting from the hostility in the, in the Southeast. And he volunteered himself to bring peace in the Southeast. Ejofo was doing this when Ikonso was still alive. Ejofo was doing this when this gentle was still alive. Ejofo was going to meet him when Mazen Nandikano was being kidnapped in Kenya. Ejofo was planning on the ground, bringing peace to Southeast. And Ejofo claimed there are some people in the foreign government who are benefiting from the insecurity. I didn't call it insecurity, but he said all this katakata in the southeast, people are benefiting, and the people do not know the role he major for is playing to bring the peace. Finally, major for played that role, you know, because he claimed that Mazin Namdekano is a private time. Uh, 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 Mazin Namdekano say uh, southeast must be peace, everybody must calm down. The same thing major for was doing before Mazin Namdekano was kidnapped. So the question is, was Ejofor involved in the kidnapping of Mazin Namdikano for the so-called peace in the Southeast to come? That's the question that you are going to answer by yourself after the exposition today. I want everybody to listen. And if the sending Taboja, where, where you see the beauty of the Nekofa to plan an evil against me, then the now has this evil plan against me. You take advantage of the hostility in the Southeast, but I'm not to them. They don't know the kind of role I'm playing. Okay. You say they are taking advantage of the hostility in the Southeast, but unknown to them, they don't know the role him, Barista Ejofo, is playing. Unknown to Mazin Namdekano, Mazin Namdekano don't know the role Barista Ejofo was playing. Unknown to Gentle Jack or Gentle Lion, Gentle Lion did not know what kind of uh, role Ejofo was playing. Unknown to Ikonso, Ikonso don't know what role Barista Ejofo was playing. So, including you, the moron that have been shouting this man, a Jofo, this a Jofo, that you do not know what role a Jofo was playing. But you are going to know that role today because he confessed here. Now, watch. So, that's this. Because some people are been thinking, about, so, so you are thinking, this is ah, what you didn't get him. We have to come back again. Okay. The man, the stupid man, the IG, the one was promoted to IG, and he was sending Tabota. Where, where you see the beauty of the neck of the plan and evil against me. Then they now hatch this evil plan against me. Then take advantage of hostility in the Southeast, but I'm not to them. They don't know the kind of role I'm playing to make sure that's peace in the in our land. Because some people are benefiting. Or they are benefiting from the hostilities. People who are apparently agents of foreign government are people who are interested in getting that thing gone, the expansion gone. Right? So the, the intendment was to come to my house, kill me, probably, and I wait for what may be, may be kind of a, 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 a response from people, from my fans across the world, or across the Southeast. But in this case, they succeeded in killing a fine gentleman, <laughs> a person whom a lot of dignities has come to my house, my clients have come. As what is the name? Very innocuous, very humble, very gentle to the core. What is the name? Because me and him, we are designed to be cured in that oppression. Are you hearing it? Ejofor said that him and this man, his PA, is designed to be killed in that oppression. The question you should be asking yourself now is that, what is so special about Ejofor PA that Ejofor enemy will design to kill his PA and kill him? The PA must be a very, very important person. The PO of a Jofo must know a very big secret that they have marked him to be killed alongside a Jofo. In every person, among all the people that was captured in a Jofo house, this PA was the most important person that a Jofo singled out and said, this particular PA, that it is only two of them that they want to kill. <laughs> hey! Hello, Melo. Hello, Melo. Ejofo is telling you that it is only him and the PA that were mapped out to be killed. 
and the people who want to kill you came from the government. They have every power, firearm, and they entered your house, entered your compound, and you are inside the house with the bulletproof, with a bulletproof door. And the, when it was time for them to enter through another door that's supposed to give them access, somebody outside the gate, according to you, Ejofo, shouted at them, say, let us go. Just at the point of picking their main target, which is Barista Ejofo, somebody have to shout, let us go. And they ran away like criminals. They carry, they, but those criminals did not run away. They have to pick your car and they were in a hurry. They have to drive your car and they were in a hurry. They drag your PA on the floor and they were in a hurry. Somebody was shouting at them to let us go that uh, we have to leave. And you know these things, they capture many people from your house. They could not go when they have almost access to your house. So I want you people to understand that a Geofor was part and parcel of the plan to kill Gentle. And by extension, a Geofor was part and parcel of the kidnap of Mazen Amdikano. I want you people to listen. Just wait. Me and, Gen and, and the Samuel Okoro might be a wild... Uh -huh. He finally mentioned Samuel Okoro. If you listen to him, you will find out that he wanted to say, me and gentle, and he did not mention that gentle, me and gent, me and Samuel Okoro, he otabire, otabire, people to listen, otabire, listen. He probably, and I wait for what maybe, maybe kind of a, 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 a response from people, from my fans across the world, or across the south. But in this case, they succeeded in killing a fine gentleman, a person who, has come to my house, my client has come and start meeting. Okay. Very no cost. Very okay. humble. Okay. Very gentle to the top. Okay. His name is what? Because he, he, and me and him, we are designed to be killed in that operation. Okay. What is his name? Me and Jen, and uh -huh. someone else. Uh -huh. me, I will send it to you. Me you and the gent. Uh -huh. I will send it to you. Me and him. And they know how that I'm mm -hmm. Because he, he, and me and him, we are designed to be killed in that operation. Mm -hmm. Me and Jen and, and the, <laughs> me and Jen and and the, <laughs> because he, he, uh, me and him we are designed to be killed in that operation. <laughs> me and Jen, me and Jen and <laughs> and the, and the, and the, and the Samuel and Lokoro, me me and, and Jen and Ma, uh, Ma, Ma, Ma Lokoro. So there's still two ways about. I want you to put the list in. He confessed. He said gentle. He denied gentle. So there's still two ways. Uh, <laughs> me and him, and they know how to <laughs> Let us go back. Because he, he, uh, me and him we are designed to be killed in that operation. <laughs> Me and Jen and Jen and Samuel and, 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 and Me and Jen and Jen and Samuel Okoro. Because him, we are designed to be killed in that operation. Uh -huh. Me and Jen and Samuel uh -huh. uh, Okoro. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Because he, he, me and him, we are designed to be killed in that operation. And they didn't kill you. Uh -huh. Me and Jen and Samuel and and uh -huh. Okoro. Uh -huh. Let us go back. They know mm -hmm. So there's still two ways about it. Okay. We are going back. Uh -huh. We are going back. In this case, because he, he, me and him, we are designed to be killed in that operation. Uh -huh. Me and Jen and, and, Jen, and, and Jen, Jen, uh -huh. Jen, we are designed to be killed. Uh -huh. We are that's we are that's we are the target. Uh -huh. Me and him, and they know how that. Yes. So there's no two. We are designed to be killed. Uh -huh. We are that's we are. I'm going back again. Because now me and him, we are designed to be killed in that operation. Hmm. Me and Jen and, uh -huh. and the, me and Jen and, and Jen. Uh -huh. We are designed to be we are designed to be killed. We are that's we are that's we are the target. Uh -huh. Because he, he, now me and him, we are designed to be killed in that operation. Uh -huh. Me and Jen and, and the Samuel Okoro, <laughs> my people, we are designed to be killed. <laughs> We are that's we are that's where they are Me and Jen and the Samuel Okoro, we are designed to be. And I want you people to understand that you know he don't want to mention gentle, <laughs> but we are going to make him mention it because this is the this is the one that pains them the most. Because we are me and him, we are designed to be killed in that operation. Yes. 
Me and Jen and and Jen and yes. Me and Jen and Jen and Jen and Jen and Jen I want you people to understand how a Jofo participated in the kidnap of Mazin Namdika. And I want you to answer the question yourself. Just listen and watch what I'm doing this evening. You will answer this question by yourself. Not me. Not me. The role a Jofo played. Now let us go there. So first of all, I have been able to prove to you that a Jofo, upon all the struggling, he tried to avoid mentioning gentle, they still put gentle in the press statement. Emmanuel Okoro, gentle. They still put it in the, but a Jofo, all the thing that brought this story was, what is the name of your PA? That's all. Jofo begin to tell you how Jesus Christ was born, how uh, they planned it, and how Jonah swallowed fish, and how fish swallowed Jonah, and at the end of the day, Chineka Bayo and he wanted to mention the name. He said, Gentle uh, uh, Manel Okoro. Let us go there. I was around. So there's still two ways about it. Yes. I, with the, the government and the federal and the police authority is under compelling obligation. Uh -huh. So they define this criminals in uniform. Yes. I will send it to you. Like, you have to move the world we are watching what's happening in my house. Yes. No yet, matter. yet, nobody, no police officer, nobody has been apprehended and the DSS knows who they are. But one thing that baffles, that should baffle you people is that in all these things, all these things, the Nigeria court compensated the Jofo. Nigeria court agree that the Jofo house was invaded and they killed people and they compensated the Jofo. But Nigeria court did not order the arrest of the people who committed the atrocity. Have you ever seen anything like that? Have you ever heard where court to sentence, find somebody guilty that you committed this crime? Yet, they did not order the arrest of the people that went there to do it because it is government, federal government planned deal to eliminate everybody. That was lawyer Thomas in Namdika. Before they finally kidnapped him from Kenya and brought to Nigeria. Age of four was part and parcel of it. As I'm talking to you today, Federal government agree that the Jofo house was invaded. Federal government agree that people were killed. Somebody was killed in a Jofo house. Federal government agree and found the Nigeria security agency guilty of the offense. But they have not arrested the people who can decry. And have you seen where that kind of thing is happening? <laughs> I am asking all of you, did you hear say, they have arrested those who invaded the Jofo's house? The answer is no. But they know who they are. Now, let us continue. So if I left off my hand now, right? I will send it to you right away. Okay. And I will send it to the world that tomorrow to go over the place. Yes. Yeah, my media team has taken over control of it. Uh -huh. The media team has taken control of it. A Jofo has media team. <laughs> I hope you people are following. Ejofo has, you know, the kind of lawyer he is, is an international repute. He said that his media team has taken, do you know who is the Ejofo media team? Umwekwe Sorayetas. Umwekwe you see, have you ever seen any other person interviewing Ejofo after Oyendu court? Only Umwekwe so those who, who can sell their, their bet right with 500 naira. They will stand in Ukumango after every court. This is who we are We are here to interview Barista Ejofo. Now Ejofo is boasting to you that the information has gone to all his media. <laughs> Hi! Chineke. We are here to interview Hi! We are here to interview Barista Ejofo. We are here to interview the media. Media team. Media team Ejofo have everything. Can you imagine? <laughs> Oh, Chineke God. Will our POB not build media? Media, our media have it. Where is your media now to come and save you? I want to bag now. I want to bag in Shinafo. Where is that those your itibori bo 
Umu ekwensu here reporting from Ukumango in Abuja. Where are they? To come and save you. Ezibo Tearo. I want you people to watch. You see what happened in a lawyer's house. A lawyer of international repute. I don't know. A lawyer of international repute. I do not know what a Jofo mean by a lawyer of international repute. Is a Jofo rep representing anybody outside Nigeria? <laughs> I don't know. Somebody like me, you can call me a legal luminary of international repute because my client spread across the world. That is it. Not you. Do you can you advise anybody that is living in London? Like, can you give anybody in London legal in UK legal, legal advice? Can you advise somebody in Germany? Can you advise somebody in Finland? I can advise somebody in America. I can give legal advice of somebody, even in Nigeria. I can give advice to somebody in the United Kingdom. My client got across the world. I have client from Arab world. I have client from Europe. I have client from Asia. I have client from Africa. I advise people. So if anybody should answer any international anything, it is me, not you. So I wonder how Ejofo, you know, gave himself a lawyer of international repute. Where have Ejofo gone to? Where he's become international repute? I don't know. <laughs> have Ejofo, you know, it will be very interesting to know where Ejofo get this international repute. <laughs> or is it because, because, because IPOB? <laughs> I don't understand though. Ejofo is giving himself a lawyer of international repute in Nigeria. I want you people to watch. Me and him. And they know how about him. Okay. So there's still two ways about it. Mm -hmm. And with the, the government and the federal government and the police authority is under compelling obligation. Mm -hmm. So they define criminals in uniform. Mm -hmm. I will send it to you. you know, if by tomorrow the world will be a watch, what's happening in my house? Mm -hmm. Because it's a, it's a left off my hand now. Mm -hmm. Right? I'll send it to you right away. Okay. And I'll send it to the world by tomorrow to go over the place. Yes. Yeah, my media team has already taken control of it. Your media team. You see what okay. happened in a lawyer's house. All right. A lawyer of international All right. A lawyer in my class. Okay. I see the idiots who have for it. To launch a forest, to launch a forest, to launch a bloody sorry, taking by control of him. You see what happened in a lawyer's house, mm -hmm. a lawyer of international mm -hmm. forest. To launch, I see the idiots who had abandoned them to post from the from, from that, 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 that forest. <laughs> to launch a bloody attack on my head. <laughs> if they are coming here to, to attack the forest, and they know this is my house, mm -hmm. you know it's my house. Yes. They must have, and then uh, 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 I mean, there is no doubt. I mean, there is no doubt in in what you're saying. Yes. Now, for clarity, uh, for clarity purposes here, <laughs> I have one of the, you know, before now, when the incident happened. Yes. So we have been able to confirm. Ejofo is still giving the name as Emmanuel Okoro <laughs> of the PA. But you know, the name is gentle. And everybody now have confirmed. So it is not issue. What I'm doing here is that every Biafran that is in this struggle know that the person that was killed in a Jeffers house was called Gentle, who is a very strong man and was part of those who respected Mazin and Bikano a lot. And in the report of a Jeffers, a Jeffers said, he was in a company of somebody. He did not mention the name. And, you know, why is it your fault? Didn't mention the name of the other person that he was in a company. It's your fault don't want to mention the name. <laughs> but, you know, like I told you people before that when I'm going to remember that one is coming because all of them are these people that planned and betrayed as they can today. They eliminated everybody. Some of the people they can eliminate. If you go to the press release of Ejofo on the 8th of June, 2021, you are going to see where Ejofo wrote that he was in a company of another person named Withhold. And I know who the person is. And I was on the phone 
with that person. You know, some people ask me, how do you know? Why did you, why are you on the phone with the, I was on the phone with him and the job for the day this thing happened because I was commanded to call them and I was commanded to come to make broadcast that night and I came live. But now, the impunity must end. I was on the phone with a Jofo and that man. Today, everything has added up. And we know who have betrayed Mazin Namdekano and how it all started. Everything that a Jofo said here was a confession. And I have waited for this day to come. I want all of you to listen. I was uh, privileged to see one of what they called the notes that they sent out after the operation in your house. Now, again, from the CCTV, or rather from their reports, they said, and I read, I read it out here. They said that um, in the course of our arrest, Chance, Red, Toyota, Amory, and high pop items were recovered. Now, Red Toyota, I believe, is the Toyota that was burnt, and we have also seen the video of that uh, Toyota. We have also seen, sadly, the video of the diseased, that is your PA. We have seen <laughs> where the PA's body was extracted yes. from that burnt Camry. I believe, I think, it's 2011 Camry, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. So, now, are you telling, you know, what are you telling the world now? According to what they wrote here, aside the camera that was recovered from your house, what else did they recover from your house, Barristan? Okay. Brother, yeah. mm -hmm. If you're talking about a problem of vehicle from a, from a home, mm -hmm. yeah, I, it, it appears the terminology they use in describing what happened in my house from their own report. Okay. Was kind of back mice. Okay. What I'm telling you that took place in my house was a case of selling. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because they are they they the car they stole from my house. They know it belongs to me. Mm -hmm. Not my particular house. I have a reception number. Okay. I mean, from the camera, you see that the car was parked in my car park. Yes. It was parked in my car. You see it from footage. We saw it. And two of them went and drove it away. I want you people to pay attention how a Jofo was describing how the car was parked. But when it was time for them to enter a Jofo house and grab him and kill him, as he claimed, that was when it, they become so in a hurry. That was when somebody was on the gate shouting they should go. And the, the people that was in a hurry has to look for a car key. The car key, has they have to search for the car key. They have to also enter the car in a hurry, drive the car, capture people, and you see all of those things on CCTV. Now listen. Right? It was parked in my car, in my car park, and two of them went and drove the car away, which eventually used in burning my, in in burning my, the, 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 the body of the, my, my PA. Yeah. <laughs> when it comes to the PA, because that was the target, it will fall, we begin to blab. When they used to burn my, uh, my PA, uh, gent, uh, my PA gent, uh, uh, my PA gent, uh, Okoro. So, my brother, let us be frank with our disposition, our position. Okay, we want to be frank. Tell us the frank one. Okay, and the first say, let us be frank. Let us see whether he is going to change and be frank. Well, let us listen. Let us be frank. Okay. Let us be frank. All right. Assuming without conceding to the fact. Okay. Assuming without conceding. <laughs> okay. Efor is now putting himself in a position of let this be like it is like like this, even if it is not a fact. Now let us listen to that. That there was any investigation going on. Okay. My vehicle was it a subject of investigation? All right. A vehicle fully tested in Abuja. Was it a subject of investigation? Yes. Now, assuming, assuming. I mean, from that CCTV coverage, okay, <laughs> you will see that my security, what my boss got away. Uh, this one is a story. Or this one, if it is not true. <laughs> okay. Tell us. He said in two space. Yes. So you will not think, think about somebody trying. To scare, making an escape from what yeah. you're exactly, to, exactly. So you will see that same. I will take you down. I will take you have to give about five minutes. You we will give you five down. minutes. Mm. So you will see there's no provision for somebody to step on that. Exactly. And that was why my driver came out from that room, finally, <laughs> to see 
So we have to at least to watch out. Yes. What was going on? Why mm. Trump got shot and everyone? Else. Yes. Now, the two, the, the criminals that came here, but I continue to call them criminals. Yes. Until you identify, until you identify them. them. Mm -hmm. But the Nigeria government already identified the fact that the people that came were Nigeria agent. But you call them criminal, yet they compensated you for the criminal act of this agent, but they don't know who they are. All right, let us continue. They came with two native doctors. Uh -huh. And your first saw two native doctors in the house. Who see it in the cabinet, in the, in, in the, in the, in the, in the footage. They, they saw footage. it in the footage. I have played those footage to all of you here. Did you see any native doctor in the footage? <laughs> all right. All right. They just want to take us around. Watch for me. Watch out. When I send you footage, you understand what I'm telling you. Yes. Them, mm. Two of them was, 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 was they were sitting, sitting here. Mm. Where they were sitting. They're but showing us the place house. now. They were here. Mm. Two of them were there. Mm. Doing the incantation. Then what? All of you remember that the day I played the video of a Geofo house invasion, that we are no native doctors. That we are nothing close to native doctor. Nothing. Did you, uh, you, do you all remember? All of you, there is nothing close to native doctor in those footage we played. Nothing. Let us go. Somebody went inside. This is the compound we're talking about. Uh -huh. Went inside this room. Yes. When they have claimed my PA. When they both went and cash it. Mm. Went and cash it. We sit in the pool day. They give them. Give them. Give them the. They give, give it to the, to the, to the, to the native doctors who are here. Who are. Who are, who are, who are, they are now okay. So they do some incantation, the person took it back to that. Uh -huh. Right? Yes. So they know the kind of charms they came to my house with. Okay. So they are talking about charms, they recover charms. They came with charms. All right. So if they recover charms, that's their own business. I don't oh, know. Okay. I don't do charms in my house. I'm a fool. I have a charm. Let me show you something. All right. This is my house. Let me show you something. Okay. <laughs> Therefore, he's showing us something. I said, um, Barista, is... are you able to? Barista, are you able to use your front your front camera? Can you switch your camera and use your front camera? All right. Let's see more. I want you people to understand one thing. I said, Geoffrey is showing you the the you know the compound. A Geoffrey has been going to meetings with Bishop the day this attack happened. A Geoffrey went to meeting. To go to pray with the bishop. <laughs> okay? And what Ejofo went to do with the bishop is to bring peace to the southeast. Ejofo went to meeting how to restore peace, according to him, oh, that there were no peace. So he wanted to restore peace in the southeast. Ejofo went to that bishop. It was after the kidnapping of Mazen Namdekanu that that bishop. Made a Jofo night because a Jofo have succeeded in trying to bring peace by, you know, somehow participated in destruction of the Eastern Security Network that were fighting to protect our land. And by extension, facilitated what led to the kidnap of Mazen and the All of you are going to listen how this thing happened. I want you people to listen, you know, and this is not even the main exposition of. I am still, I am just exposing what is in the public. Not what is, well, not the secret I have, but what is in the public. A Geoffrey must step. Why I'm doing this is to tell him to step aside. Nobody is after him. He just have to leave the legal team. The compromising, the level of the compromise of a Geoffrey is too much. I want everybody to listen. Oh, yeah. I mean... Okay, see it. Are you seeing it now? Uh, no, I'm, I'm still looking at your face. Oh, I'm, I'm trying it's to... fine, but I think it's it's in that uh, camera. You can actually flip yeah. the camera. If it, it I'm becomes, I mean, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, so this is where I have my stick camera. See it. See my, okay. my the one they broke, you can see them. See there. Did they did they remove it when they came in? They, they remove it, yeah. They scale to the, to okay. the spot 
they scared when a person, one person, one of them scared to the space, mm -hmm. enter to the space. Okay. They can see the space. Okay. Enter to the space. And the CCTV cuts that person before he. Yes, yeah, it cuts. It cuts him. It cuts him. I'll I'll send it to you. Cut all right. All right. Because on our way. Okay. Him. This is my this is what they think where they entered from. Where one of them entered from. All right. The way they entered from this place, then he went. He went. He, and they now he now went inside and opened this gate. Wide open, open it for them to come in. Mm. And his colleagues, the his gangs, criminal gangs came in from this place. Mm -hmm. then my PA, my driver, my driver was um, came in from here, came in from this place. Mm -hmm. He came in from this place. He came in from this is their house, where they live. This is where they live. This is about three rooms. Okay. Three bedroom, one. So they came in, he came in from he came out from here and still was when he came out to watch what was going on. And they by the time he came out here, they were here. Okay. They now asked him to stand to 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 to, to stand to in the lounge. You know down. They now keep him down. Mm -hmm. So I started my handling him here. In the spot, we saw it. Then some of them now move inside this room mm -hmm. where my where my PA was sleeping. Yes. At the time, my PA, PA. and the other people every and time they, PA. Mm -hmm. they move inside this room. Yes. This room. They move inside the room where they were sleeping. Yes. And they continue in their criminal escort. So that's what we. Killed my VA. Okay. So and from that camera, I was watching them. They never knew that this camera. Let me show you something. Mm -hmm. They never knew that this camera was. See, this camera he was, was watching them, and he's the one that come to kill you. All right. This camera caught them clearly. There's a camera here, up here, seen it. All right. This camera caught yes. them clearly. So, mm -hmm. so he caught them because everything happened here around here. So they never knew that this camera was 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 getting them, then was capturing them. They now brought the body, rather body of my PA from here. All right. From here, they, they brought the body from that, from the room, mm. they pass through this place, and and they and they take the body outside. So now my car was parked, was parked here. There. Mm. My car was parked here, was mm. parked in this spot, this spot. Yeah, yeah, this car was parked now. Was parked down my car was parked here. So the two of them. Now the question you should ask yourself is: Your first said they killed the PA, they shot him, he died. So you should ask the Jofo, at what point did they have to inject the PA with lethal injection? Because the, the thing I read yesterday to you people, where a Jofo wrote that they had to shoot him and they inject him with lethal injection and then they set him ablaze. So at what point did they have to inject that injection? When a Jofo is here explaining to you that he already died. They have already killed him and they dragged him out. So where, at what point did they put injection before they now set him ablaze? <laughs> I want you people to listen to what is happening here. Let us go there. Came here and took that car away. So, outside the compound. Because they put their car, their, their vehicles, about 15 fellow vehicles, two to three kilometers from this place, link on with it. So okay. See them. okay. So they park it at a very far place and check upstate. Do you know that age of four? from his room know where the people park the car three kilometers away because you know he told you that he has the plan how they plan to come to his house and kill him so it's your phone knew from that plan that when they are going to come they will stop the car three kilometers away and the your phone was inside his room and his camera in the in the compound was seen three kilometers out of the city I want you people to understand what I am saying. Did your first say that they have to leave their car three kilometers? Or is it that the DOS came? Uh, the, <laughs> of course, they are the same thing, DOS and this, you know. So, you know, all the information from his spiritual mirror showed him that the car of these people that came was three kilometers away. And they have to trek from three kilometers to your first house and how the village for somebody to trek three kilometers, uh, you know, this thing is cutting. <laughs> do we have to? <laughs> I do not know whether <laughs> the thing is that they have to, how a job for measured the kilometers uh, from the car of the DSS to the house where Jeffo is living and all that. So I want you all to listen, activate members only so that uh, people can, the interruption can somehow stop.
Let us go there. Members only. So everybody should just listen so that this program will be very, very uh, smooth, very important. All right. I want everyone to listen and pay attention. So when they were trekking, the camera was capturing was, was capturing them. All right. The camera in my hand was capturing them. I will send it to you. The camera so, in the first house was capturing them while they were walking three kilometers away to the car. Now they, they now they got us get they want to get outside. They now put the, the cops of my of my PA inside the vehicle. Okay. And took, and took me. All right. So, that was so we got some. No, they, okay. The they didn't they didn't put sorry they didn't put the cops visit cops of your PA. In this, in in in, in the compound, they took him out. Okay. They took, him out. So they took him out. Yeah. And my, my, my brother, my brother, the, our, our arrest, arrested along five with nine. They was abducted alongside with that domestic pack. Mm -hmm. them, because it was there. Okay. They took him there. They took my brother out of there. He was before. He saw the way they put in the body inside my car. Mm -hmm. And when he came back, he told me. He said uh, he called me and said that this guy, they killed, they killed, they killed this guy. Mm -hmm. You know, I told me I like, killed this guy. I said no, it's not possible. He said they killed this guy. Are you hearing? A Jofor brother was released and a Jofor brother came back to tell a Jofor that it's like they have killed this guy. Yo. A Jofor is telling him that it is not possible that they will kill this guy. He said it's like they killed this guy. Yo. Now listen. They killed him. My brother was told me, well, they told me when he came back, they killed this guy. So it was, it was the following morning. That, that's okay, that's the morning. Around okay. three to four. Mm -hmm. Somebody that suspected the Nami went yesterday. Did you hear that? Somebody that participated in the meeting that a Jofor with this PA, with this person that a Jofor don't want to mention his name and I don't want to mention his name yet, that meeting they participated. Somebody who was part of that meeting also have to now inform a Jofor. Now, listen to the story. At the beginning of July, of okay. June, All right. at, um, at Archbishop's premises. Did you hear that? At Archbishop premises. A Jofo was in a meeting at Archbishop premises with the person that he don't want to mention his name and this PA. And somebody who was part of that meeting now called a Jofo. Called my attention to what he saw uh -huh. along Nene. Uh -huh. I will not mention them. Okay. okay. What he saw along Nene. I want you people to listen to this story. Somebody called a Jofo attention to what he saw along Nene. So he said we should go and check. That vehicle resemble my bed. Okay. But should go and find out what happened. So okay. He said, Ejofo, you should go and check that this vehicle resemble Ejofo's vehicle. Now, some of you will not understand the vehicle that Ejofo say that somebody told him to go and check that the vehicle resemble his vehicle. So we are going to look at that uh, vehicle, you know. Let us see this vehicle that somebody saw and recognized that it is a Jofor's vehicle. My brother and my sister and people of Biafra. Here is the vehicle that somebody who was in a meeting with a Jofor the previous day saw. And this person, as the vehicle has been set ablaze, Born to ashes, the person saw this vehicle and recognized it. That is a Jofor's vehicle. <laughs> hey! She never care. A somebody called a Jofor and told a Jofor, I saw this vehicle. It is like your vehicle. Oh. So the vehicle has a Jofor number. The vehicle has a Jofor color. Jeff, the vehicle has everything. And of course, you see that uh, the number plate. <laughs> but of course, the person saw this vehicle and know that it is a Jofor's vehicle. A lot of people in Nigeria don't even know the number of their plate, uh, the, the number of their car. A lot. So if somebody is looking at this burnt vehicle now, to the extent that you look at the number plate to see that this is a Jofor number, oh, it's a Jofor. I saw it. It's a Jofor number. A Jofor is telling you that somebody saw the car and they say, it is like this is your car. 
that person must be guru to have known that a burnt vehicle belonged to a Jofa. Now, let us listen. When we got there, we don't saw the body of my boy. Of my boy. Okay. Both burnt vehicles. Let us go back because that is more, very interesting. I mentioned them, with them. So he said we should go and check that vehicle resemble my vehicle. Okay. That should go and find out what happened. All so right. When we got there, it resemble it resemble a Jofa vehicle. <laughs> he did not tell a Jofa that I saw that vehicle and I saw the plate number and that is your plate number. No, but a Jofa say a burnt vehicle resembles his vehicle. So the person should, uh, you know, a Jofa should go that the vehicle he saw resemble his vehicle. He did not say, I saw the plate number and the plate number is your plate number. He said, that vehicle resembles your vehicle, so you should go. The person called him, oh, I want you to understand that Ejiofo did not call this person to say, they have attacked my house. The person called Ejiofo and told Ejiofo, I saw a vehicle that it looks like your vehicle. And that is very early in the morning, 5 a.m. I want you people to listen. I was there alongside with my, that was abducted alongside with my domestic staff. Saw them because it was there. They took him there. They took my brother, my brother, they took him to the saw the way they were putting the body inside my car. And when they came back, he told me, he said, that, uh, he called me and said that this guy, they killed, he told they killed this guy. He now told me, I killed this guy. And I said, no, it's not possible. He said, they killed this guy. They killed him. My brother was told me, when he came back, he said, they killed this guy. So it was the following morning. That's okay, that's the morning around three to four. Somebody Are you hear that? Around three to four. That same morning, three to four a.m. Three to four a.m. Somebody called the Joe for that it is like your vehicle. Because the point is that if they were part of the plan to kill this guy, burn it, use a Joe for car to burn him and all that. Oh, Joe for it have executed the plan. So he has to now call the Joe for that this thing was successful. They have killed him. They have burned him with his car. So because who is going out 4 a.m. that is going to college or for in Nigeria? Somebody will leave his house 4 a.m. to go to the road to now see a vehicle that resembles a Jofo's vehicle 3 to 4 a.m. in the night, in the morning in Nigeria. Do you know that that time is, you know, everywhere is chi, 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 chi. The, all the animals will be shouting. Somebody has to now stand up from his house and was going on the road and saw a vehicle that resembled a Jofo. And the person now called a Jofo around 3 to 4 a.m. I want you people to understand that the calling to a Jofo was not to tell a Jofo that he saw the vehicle. Rather to tell a Jofo that it has been done. That the job has been done. Or all of you watching me today and all the irat of a Jofo, do you think do you think it is normal somebody with his senses will just wake up from his house around 3 to 4 a.m. in Nigeria, in Igbo land, in darkness, and you will be going somewhere, and all of a sudden you saw a burnt car and you pick your phone and call it your phone. This car looks like your car. So in all the orifice everywhere in Anambra, it is only a Jofo that is uh, using Toyota Camry that has been burnt. The person now have to call it your phone. That is your fault. It is like that is your cow. Sorry that participated in that meeting we went yesterday. Okay. That being on 5th of July of as Archbishop's premises. Call my attention to what he saw uh -huh. along the uh -huh. I will not mention them. Okay. Them. Right. resemble my right. that you can find out what happened. So okay. when we got there, we now saw the body of my boy of my boy. So All right. Both vehicle, so that the vehicle blaze along. With my my body, like mm. my, my, my peers body. So on up to today, despite our various correspondence to the security agents, mm -hmm. to Army Staff, to IGO police, yes, to the presidency, yes, to SSG, to, yes. to LGF, yes, to the police, yes, to SSS, yes, nobody has responded. Nobody has how can they respond when it was you that connived with them? From the evidence that is coming out from your own mouth, how can they respond when it was them that sent you know people to kill those who are very strong and loyal? So how are you expecting the government that sent people to come and kill in your house to begin to prosecute them? 
What surprises me is that you went to court. The court agreed that they have now killed people in your house, but yet they did not demand the arrest of those who came to do it. And you, so as a Rudat lawyer of international repute, you did not demand the court that not only compensation, no, not only 50 million, give me the people that came to kill my PA. Ejiofo did not make public how much he gave to the family of this PA. <laughs> Openly come to acknowledge the fact that this thing happened on account of this. Okay. It's today. All right. There was, there was a report actually that um, I think was issued by the State Police Commission saying, denying that no, anybody ever came to your house. Now, the question is, if all these things happened and there is a CCT footage, why do you think they are still denying it? That something that's so glaring and so visible to the blind happened. And they are telling us that nothing like that happened. Okay. The, the Commission of Police, Anambra State, I personally called him on phone. All right. I spoke with him. Okay. I'm saying it before the public. Okay. And he confirmed to me, Jofo, I don't know about what happened in your house. And yeah, he's fine. Nobody he's... called me, nobody informed me. And the Jofo was fine. So obviously, you may not expect me to tell that you know he's away. Hey, you so, see that? He's not away. And the Jofo is fine with the commissioner of police. We just, you know, he called him on phone and he just told him that he's not away. The Jofo was fine. Oh, he told me never, nobody contacted me. Under normal circumstances, mm -hmm. assuming you are going for operation of this nation, mm -hmm. And they came with uniform. Okay. Yes, I would say he came with uniforms. I even their faces to see their faces. Mm -hmm. I captured the camera captured their faces and even find them. Okay. Yeah. He came with uniforms, soldiers' uniforms, mm -hmm. SSS, police. I have them. And in my they, camera. They just saw their camera. face. Captured their camera. face. He can have one of them in the camera. Mm -hmm. So by tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, the media, the whole the international community, the foreign <laughs> government, the media, will be at war uh -huh. with the footage that will happen in my house. Did you see the foreign government or the foreign media or the foreign diplomatic everybody? Did you, did you people hear them make comment on this age of age of say the next by tomorrow, it will go CNN, it will go everywhere. Age of four did not tell you, you know, now how far he has gone to make international media to talk about Mazen and Dikanu's case, which he is representing. But in his own case, he was telling you by next tomorrow, every international media, every BBC, all of them will be talking about it yet. We didn't hear that. It was just talking and talking. Now, listen. And I believe at that time, that the police and the federal government will be forced to identify the person that came to my house. Okay. And sanction them accordingly, mm -hmm. prosecute them, Mm -hmm. And I'm demanding, I'm demanding to the studio mm -hmm. for immediate release of my people. Mm -hmm. Immediate and unconditional release of my staff they were adopted. Okay. They were adopted. Okay. I, I'm still making that demand now. All right. They should release my staff they, they adopted in my house. Chai. Because so with, the the exception, of, with the exception of your brother that has been released, so how many of your staff still with them? Three of them. Okay. <laughs> Now it's it's quite it's quite intriguing listening to you. And if an entity has denied ever in did you also know that Barista Jofo has defended the police commissioner in Anambra? Uh, this person who actually is responsible. So Jofo is now, you know, defending him that no, he, you know, he just told him that I'm not aware and that I'm fine with that. Now listen. Somebody that they were somebody that somebody were killed in his house. Invading your house. Mm -hmm. Did your staffs find their way to Abuja where they have been held? So how come if your house was never invaded, if no one approved coming to your house, how did your staffs? I mean, these are questions that you think about it, you obviously it doesn't it doesn't necessarily. Um, make too much sense. So obviously, someone is lying here. How did you? <laughs> obviously, someone is lying here. But of course, that is about whether they came to his house or not. So I do not know who is lying here. But you are going to listen to who Staff is lying. Staff to Abuja if they were not abducted. That's that's the question. 
question for answer. There may, I want to mention the names of those that arrested my, my domestic staff. Uh -huh. Now, after checking his phone, he has concocted, concocted names, and now he's going to mention the domestic staff that were arrested. So let us li listen to him. They arrested. That's still in their custody. Mm -hmm. They have got them First one is Mr. Felix Okonkwo Emeka. Mm -hmm. Felix Okonkwo. Emeka, yes. Second one is okay. Okafo Lawrence. Did you see that Ejofo is reading the name of his domestic staff from his phone? <laughs> Ejofo is reading the name of his domestic staff from his phone. I need to, you know, I don't know whether I should make it a full screen. Let us make it a full screen. Ejofo is reading a, the name of people that he claimed was working with him for many years. <laughs> Just like you are now, you need to make this stuff again. Okay? When they come to ask you, what is the name? You will look at the phone. Let me see the text message somebody sent me as the name. You look at the phone. Oh, um, oh, is the name Uzungasi? Okay, what is the name? What is the name of the other one? The other name is okay. okay? Somebody that lives with you, you are looking in your phone from a text message you receive from somebody that is telling you the name. So I want everybody to listen to Ejofo. Why Ejofo look at the phone to read the name of the so-called domestic staff? Um, it make too much sense. So obviously someone is lying here. How did your staff get to Abuja if they were not abducted? That's, that's the question. For answer, are, I want to mention the names of those that arrested my. Did you see him looking at the names of those they arrested in his house? He called them domestic, domestic staff, he do not know their name, he has to read their name. My domestic staff, uh -huh. they arrested, that's still in their custody. Okay, they have in my house. Uh -huh. he's reading. Look, first at... one is Mr. Felix. Did you see him reading from the phone? Mr. Felix, uh -huh. another one, he is looking down to look the name of the, his domestic staff. Felix Okonkwo. Uh -huh. Emeka, yes. All right. Second one is okay. for Lawrence. He is still looking to read the name of Oka for Lawrence. Uh -huh. He is still reading. Did you see how he look up? Nehemanya ka anyo onyo shi. Antonio Wall is thinking that she became. You see? Third was is that she still looking at the name where somebody have sent it to him through test message. Did you see that? Did you see that? Look at. He doesn't know the name of his domestic workers. Che! Hello, <laughs> Melo. I know you say, please, can someone wake me up? Am I, am, I, am I dreaming? My brother, you are not dreaming. I know you are not dreaming. This is real. And we have not started, though. All of you will go to sleep today. You will not you will not see sleep. I am telling you, after this program today, you will not sleep. Okay. And are they all from uh, where are they all from? Let's you know. He came as she came is from Adam State. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, look up for is from Enugu, and the other person is from Lawrence is from Enugu too. And the other person is from Enugu too. He did not know the name. He can you know, he can look up for is from Anambra. Um, uh, this one is from Enugu, another person which he cannot look the phone immediately to check the name. So, uh, you see, I want us to go back. The other person which he don't want to go back to the name okay. to the phone. And are they all from uh, where are they all from? Okay, listen. He can actually came from Anambra State. Anambra State. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, look up for it's from. Enugu and the other person is from Lawrence is from Enugu. Uh -huh. And the other person is from Enugu because he don't want to go back to check the phone to see the name of the other person. <laughs> so how long have these people been working with you? All right. Listen. My PA, the one that killed, has been with me for the past four years. Are you hearing? PA, that the Jafar don't know his name, has been working with him for the past four years. Then... Um, Chibi Kim has been with me for the past two years. Chibi Kim has They're been not... with me for the past two years and he don't know his name. He has to look the phone to know the name of Chibi Kim, who has been living with the job for, for the past two years. Friends, my driver and my gardener were just employed last day. They were at my house, they've been with me for the, at least for going to one year now. Okay. The people that have been living for one year 
in a Jofo house. A Jofo don't know their name. So I don't know whether a Jofo want to call them their name. A Jofo will look the phone and say, a Jofo, um, uh, uh, what is that your name again? Chibike. Okay, this one, Chibike, come and get me water. A Jofo will look at the gardener. Uh, gardener, 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 what is the name of that gardener again? And a Jofo will look the phone and get the gardener's name. And then he will call it. Oh, hey, come on, governor, come. We're just mm. about to and they were all in that boys' quarter that you just showed us. Yes, they are not. They have this full three bedroom flat apartment. They are just there. Oh, okay. yeah, that's where they are living. All right. And I'm living in this main house. Okay. Mm. He's living in main house with another person that the Jofo don't want to mention his name. That person was in that main house that day. Now, where where was any attempt made to get themselves into that main house? That's a very good question. Was any attempt made to get themselves into that main house? Because the person that came to kill was a Jofo, according to him. A Jofo and the PA. A Jofo told us that the people they want to kill that day is him and his PA. So now a question has been posed to a Jofo. Did they try to get into the main house to kill you? Because you are the one they come to kill and your PA. Now, listen to how Ejofo is going to answer that question. Yes, the, he, you, will, you will see from the... You see, Ejofo is still looking at the phone. No? Ejofo is still looking at where somebody is sending him or whether I don't know what is reason. But look at him. Look at his eyes. From the... Are you seeing that? From the... From what do you call it? From the... Uh... I, what do you call it? Ejofo is asking a lawyer, Erudite International Lawyer, is asking you, what do you call it? How to assess his house, his main house. Ejofo wants this interviewer to remind him, what do you call it? How can the person know what you want to say? Or um, now, from the camera, that okay. when they finish, when they finish, when they, after they back, the back, uh -huh. body of my ear mm. and the vehicle, they, they, were, they came toward this side, they came toward this end. Uh -huh. If I want to show you now how they did not enter the main house to kill him. To see if they can enter from the other door. All right. From this from that entrance. That's, that's, that door is bulletproof. Uh -huh. That door is bulletproof. Okay. They, they try to enter that door, but bulletproof. Let us go to another door that is not bulletproof. I don't know whether it is bulletproof or not, but let us watch. So they make effort before some person started calling them outside mm -hmm. the fence. And from Are you hearing that? They made effort. They made effort for somebody started calling them outside the gate. Can you understand that somebody was outside the gate and shouting the time they want to make effort to enter a Jofo main house? That was when somebody called them from outside the gate. They from the outside the gate. To call them, you have to leave there quickly. They have to leave there quickly. Uh -huh. They have to leave there quickly. When they have not gotten a Jofo, and a Jofo was the main target and the PA, they have gotten one, according to a Jofo. Now they remain a Jofo. The time to now break into the Ejofo main house. That was when somebody had to say, they have to leave, oh, everybody have to leave. Oh. And they are rushing. They have a car. They are rushing. They have the cops of the PA. They are rushing. They still capture other people that they take with them. All these things was happening. They have people they have taken with them. I, I had the sound. I had the, I had the, I had the voice. Uh -huh. Ejofo was inside this big house. In this kind of, uh, you know, scene where gone is uh, being shot and uh, where he is under uh, you know he's about to die and the Jofo was hearing the noise of somebody shouting from outside the gate that come on let us go from this house you saw now no a Jofo now hear the voice of somebody from the outside the gate telling them they have to go so that was how they did not come to a Jofo but the Jofo was the main target <laughs> You have to leave quickly. Even that brother confirmed to me. Uh -huh. that somebody... The other brother confirmed to him that somebody was shouting, let them leave quickly. <laughs> and they have not concluded and finished their mission. No? When they were trying to enter through this place, uh -huh. through the second door. Let me show the second door. All right. So you want to, to show us the second door. door. Second door. Uh -huh. Just when they want to try to enter that door, that was it. They should leave quickly. Then one of them called us. They said, would you leave? Would you leave? Would uh -huh. you leave? Would you leave? Uh -huh. Then nearly raced out. Uh -huh. So... They couldn't come inside the house. That At all. Mm -hmm. That's why on that particular day. Okay. All right. 
There was, um, it, it will be fair to say that, you know, they were not able to gain entrance into yes. the men's house. Uh, yes. The whole operation took place in the boys' yes. quarter. All right. Uh, I'm with the compound, yes. And also outside my, behind my compound, mm -hmm. behind my compound, where my brother lives, where my, my half brothers, my, where my brother, my, my other brothers and there, my other siblings live. Mm -hmm. they, they, they went there, they, that was where they picked up. They, they abducted my Arab brother, whom they left at some point when they were going back. Yes. Okay, in the course of this interview, I think I wouldn't let that go. All in right. the course of this, this interview, you mentioned, you dropped a name whom you've been, you know, whom you accuse here. I don't want to get into details uh, as to that accusation. I believe yeah. uh, the law court will do, probably do that. Mm -hmm. But, Something a jail for accused somebody. You said the law court will do that. Has a jail for filed any case as a lawyer against a, a make offer in any law court in Nigeria that a jail for is opening his mouth on social media to say a make offer was the one after my life? Has a jail for as a erudite international lawyer of repute filed any case against a make offer? For trying to kill him in his house. And a Jofor is international report. I want to ask this question for those who are concerned. If he has filed, I don't know, but I am just asking. But let us continue. That's why we are not here to talk about the make offer. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, is it true that um, during your higher institution that you enjoy the make offer? For Scholarship is that okay. true? Okay, I never enjoyed anybody's scholarship. Never gave me scholarship, brother. He was pressing that on, on the he folded me at some point, but I want to go into it. At the point, at the, in the fullness of time, I'll, I'll, I'll address that point. Mm. So, he was somebody that funded me at some time, you see, and he do not want to go into that. He said, I did not enjoy a make of for scholarship, he was somebody that funded me at some point. And he don't want to go into that anyway. So you people have seen it. Um, uh, so which means it has to be with somebody sponsoring and funding. And he don't want to go into that. Why do you not want to go into that? So that we will know the problem you have with a makeover. That you are accusing a makeover of trying to kill you. Why the illiterate IPOB, all this chakra boom, if it is master prophet in Germany, will tell them why are they going about telling people that you have paid the biggest price for representing Mazen and Bikano, why you are telling them that a make for is after your life? Each attempt in your life, they say it is because you are representing IPOB. It is because you are representing Mazen and Bikano. Why you are here telling them the person that want to kill you is a make for? How do we handle all this itibori boss? Or the too much? I hope you people are listening. So let us uh, go and uh, listen. Well, I never, you never gave me any thoughts. Okay. So well, in, in that case, then uh, in that case, your 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 answer has eaten the second question. I wouldn't. I will, I will leave it at that. Okay. Because thank I would have had a, a follow up question if the answer was in the affirmative. Yeah, thank you. So now, what do you you said something is going to happen within the next forty eight hours? Can we? Uh, can you elaborate on that? No, I'm going to court. Simple. I'm going to court to file action against the uh, government of the of the of the day. I'll file action against the eleven civilians are waiting. Okay. The DSS, the police, the army, and the yes, and the SS test. I'm going to file action against them. Yes, wasting next for eight hours. I'm going to call to challenge what happened in my house and also the continual illegal detention and access of my people. Okay, so because <laughs> the faces of people that came here is clear. All right, so if they once they see the people, they identify them, so they can't say they don't know them. Okay, they both the soldiers, the SSS, the police, the military, uh -huh. our, whatever, whatever I call hey, them. Your they have seen the footage now. Have they been able to identify them? And why have they not identified them? And if they have not identified them, like you said, after providing footage, why have they not done that? You are a lawyer. So can you tell us? It's on the on the on the on the on the, on the it's completely fully captured in, by the camera. So they will want to see them. They will know, they know them. They have to identify them. But by this time, the camera because it's off my hand. Okay. The footage is off my hand as it's stage. So when they see them, they have to identify them. Okay. What I'm demanding. Well, I know my boys have been detained in post ID. All right. I am fully aware of that. I'm a lawyer. I've, I've gone for this profession. Yes. So I know where they're detained. Mm. What I'm demanding for them to release them immediately. 
they, they, they defy the criminals that came to my house mm. and appropriately sanctioned them mm. and prosecuted them. Mm. That's my demand. Okay. And the waiting enough for stay over with our think that's not done. I will go to challenge the action in court and make more chilling revelations about what happened in my house. All right. I make more chilling revelations about what happened. We are in my making house. it now. Can I capture my still footage? We are helping you. In the course of time. I will go to I will take it up on there. We are helping you. Let me you. see what informed that kind of oppression on a lawyer's school. Mm -hmm. We have to give a reason why they came to my house. Okay. And it's more so when they when people who are supposed to know. You know the effort I'm making to the stop peace in our region. Yes. I want you people to, to now listen. Here is where Ejofor confessed his involvement in the kidnap of Mazin Nambikano. Or his action, he was involved. Here is where Ejofor start confession. Ejofor say they don't know his involvement in trying to restore peace in our region. I want you people to listen now. Here is the biggest bombshell that is coming this evening. And of course, I need to open the comment section, uh, you know, so that uh, uh, if the people comment again, like uh, flagging it again, I will have to also bring it back to the membership. Because I would like to see everybody commenting from what Ejo4 is going to say from here. So let us take it back a little bit. Peace in our region. Which yeah. demand. And the waiting enough for stay over with our think that's not done. I will go to challenge the action in court. I make more chilling revelations about what happened in my house. I make more chilling revelations about what happened in my house. Clearly captured my still footage in the course of time. I will go to I will take it up on there. Because let me see what informed that kind of oppression on my school. We have to give you why they came to my house. And it's more so when they when people who are supposed to know. To know the effort I'm making to restore peace in our region. Are you hearing that? Effort I'm making to restore peace, peace, peace in my region. And it's more so when the when people who are supposed to know. To know the effort I'm making to restore peace in our region. Okay. You have to give a reason why they came to my house. And it's more so when the when people who are supposed to know. To know the effort I'm making to restore peace in our region. Okay. You have to give a reason why they came to my house. Yeah, your phone. And it's more so when the when people who are supposed to know. To you know the effort I'm making to restore peace in our region. Ejofo is not only just a lawyer, he is also trying to restore peace in his region. When, they, when people who are supposed to know, to you know the effort I'm making to restore peace in our region. People who are supposed to know should know the effort Ejofo is making why they my house. to restore peace. And it's more so when, they, when people who are supposed to know, okay. to you know the effort I'm making to restore peace in our region. Let us continue. We so, now, we if I, if we I think about it, and, and coming, he's coming. We have Sheikh Gumi, uh -huh. who is not a lawyer. Yes, he's not a lawyer. Yes, a yes. This man, apart from the fact that he's interceding for people who are known terrorists. Yes, known terrorists. Yes, he is now. He now want to now compare himself what he is now doing secretly in IPOB and ESN to what Gumi is doing now to terrorists. Age of four is comparing. IPOB with Gumi. Age of four is comparing IPOB with Gumi. Age of four is comparing Gumi with IPOB. Age of four is now trying to tell you that, you know, if what he's trying to say now is because of what the role he is playing secretly to restore peace, which you don't know, is the reason why they want to attack him in his house. That is what he wants to explain. But if you check it, you see, it doesn't make sense. Because if you are, if you are, if the people know the role you are playing to restore peace, they will not come to kill you now. <laughs> okay? They will not, they, you know, they will not come to kill you now. Why would they come to kill you? But because they believe that killing Commander Gentle is part of the Jofo move to restore peace. They believe that killing Ikonso is part of a Jofo move to restore peace. They believe that kidnapping Mazin Kano from Kenya is part of a Jofo move to restore peace. And you are going to hear it from a Jofo. I did not say it. Listen. He has gone ahead to say a number of things, even if on the air. That is not challenging. They have in my, 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 my capacity. Who is in trying to restore peace for people who ultimately are threatened? 
who are legitimately exercising the rights as provided by the constitution. Are you hearing? While Mazin Namdekanu has not been kidnapped, Ejo Four was going to make peace that we don't know about. While Mazin Namdekanu was somewhere in Kenya, Ejo Four was busy making move, having meeting upon meeting with the one that is on the run that was in his house the day they killed Gentle. You know what I told you? I say the people they killed were those who will do anything for Mazen Namdekanu, like those who are really loyal to Mazen Namdekanu, were the people they eliminated. And this particular person that they killed in Ejofor house was one of them. So Ejofor is telling you now that you people don't know what he was doing to restore peace. I do not know what peace Ejofor want to restore. I do not know what kind of, uh, you know, that's why after Mazen Namdekanu was kidnapped, Ejofor was bombarding everywhere, uh, he attacked Simon Epa because Simon Epa is the worst enemy of this Nigeria. So once Simon Epa is attacked, blackmail, slander, and take him out of the way, Ejofo have succeeded in whatever he called peace that nobody know. I want you to listen to him. And someone somewhere we find that he's interceding for people who are known terrorists. Known terrorists. He has gone ahead to say a number of things, even if on, on the air. And nobody has challenged him. But he have people, he have person in my, 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 my capacity who is in the middle trying to restore peace for people who are legitimately attacking. Age of four is in the middle. Who are legitimately exercising the rights as provided by the position. Age of four is in the, in the middle. And someone somewhere we plan conspire on on my personal information. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying, what I want to tell you at this stage is that there is no amount of intimidation if you don't know. Okay. There's no amount of oppression. Mm -hmm. There's no amount of threat that mm -hmm. stop me from defending IPOD cases and then It cannot okay. happen. Uh -huh. okay. I want you people to understand that a GFO who was under threat when Mazin Namdekano has not been captured, a GFO whose house was invented when Mazin Namdekano has not been kidnapped. All of a sudden, Ejofor is walking freely. All of a sudden, Ejofor is traveling to Beria. All of a sudden, Ejofor is going out and coming in. All of a sudden, nobody is invading Ejofor's house again. But I know, after these brokers today, they are going to throw one knockout today. And they will say, oh, they have come again. But I am telling you today that now they kidnapped Mazin Namdekanu and the threat to Ejofor ended. If Ejofor claimed that is going is defending IPOB and at the same time accusing a make off for what business does a make off for have with uh, with IPOB? If your phone is telling you that oh nothing will make him to stop uh, as if the people that are coming to attack his house has anything to do with the fact that he represents IPOB. But the question is, your phone is now representing IPOB. They have now captured and kidnapped Mazin and Bekano from Kenya. And nobody has attacked him after that. I want you people to listen to Ejofo. On the history of the state, I can never stop. Nobody will stop threatening me to stop defending them. Nobody will oppress me to stop defending them. Nobody will, will attempt, will, 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 will do things that will stop me from defending them. Because I know I am protected so, by the law and by the constitution. Okay. It's my so right to you, defend anybody that comes my way. So you, you, what you are telling us now is that you believe that the invasion of your house in 2019 and the invasion of your house in June 2021 is connected to you being the lead counsel to IPOB and the Nandi Is that what you're saying? Of, of course. Of you did you hear that? He lied again. Somebody who called himself a lawyer who was accusing a maker for from a moment ago, that he knows how a make for plan is. How? So is a make for now the one fighting against IPOB? And now he switch it again because they asked him. So you think that it is because you are representing Mazen Namdekanu that Nigeria government want to kill you? He said, of course. Now, as a Jofo, how does that connect to a make for? How does this connect to a make for now? Of course, if I'm not, they won't have gone. Okay. I, but he's, he's saying if he's not representing Timazin Namdekanu, 
he, they would they wouldn't have come. But from a few months ago, he said he know who is a, who is behind it. He said he have everything where they planned it. He said the person is a makeup for is after his life. I'm not. They wouldn't have come. Okay. I'm not. They wouldn't have come. All right. But there must be a basis for somebody to apply. Of course, you know. Uh -huh. They will go and tell them that look, your boy said is that doing this like the IP members are taking up from his sound. They come to have meeting and all what not. Okay. Before now, even before I get to know the AI, the, the recommender might might be my place. He has had all, all sorts of rubbish from people around me. Okay. And he came to know me. Okay. Because they are sponsoring false intelligence and false information about me. Okay. They go and tell him about that. Look, your boy, you saw the yeah, IP members leave. Where you see they have gone, they have this and have that. Until the man get to know me one on one in one. All right. The man said he has never. If you see one thing about life that when you have information about somebody, investigate those information. We are doing that. I know that I am the best friend in the house now. We hear that. <laughs> so, so, and uh, um, you know, before I let one or two people within the audience ask their questions, um, obviously, as is tradition to what we do here, at least we let people have, uh, um, you know, also put one or two questions to you. I want to know, you know, you said uh, the reason why you came back on the 5th was to interact with the churches in order to find peace. For Are you hearing that? He came back to interact with the churches in order to find peace. Churches, the one that gave him knighthood. He came back to interact with them. This was the heat of the, uh, the kidnap of Onyendu. He came back to discuss with the church for peace. I do not know what the peace age of is talking about. But let us listen. For the Southeast. In that interaction, were you acting as an independent lawyer, as a concerned citizen, okay. as also a Red Cap chief in okay. the Igbo Nation, okay. or were you representing any organization in seeking for that peace? Now, did you hear the question? This is a very brilliant question. This guy asked Ejofo, the time you came back to East to begin to look for peace in the church, did you come as an independent person? Did you come as an Igbo man with a red cap? Did you come as an activist of any person? Or did you come as a representative of any organization? And what he's trying to get here is that whether Ejofo came to make that peace representing IPOB as an IPOB lawyer, that was what this guy wanted to get. But let us listen to what the Jofa have to say. My, my brother, uh, I didn't come back for interaction at the point in question. Let me say this to you. Okay. He said he did not come back for an interaction in the first question. But let him say this to him. Let us listen. Well, I've been involved in a highly sensitive and uh, sensitive meeting. Are you hearing that? A Jofa? has been involved in highly sensitive security meetings with the governors of the Southeast. Before the kidnap of Mazin and Bikano, those sensitive, highly sensitive security meetings led to the death of Ikonso. Those highly security sensitive meetings led to the death of his PA. Those sensitive, highly security meetings led to the death of many ESL commanders. It even led to the kidnap of Mazin and Bikano. I want you people to listen. Ejofo telling you he has been involved in many sensitive security meetings before the kidnap of Mazin and the Canon. Listen. Meetings. And uh, I am not in seeking for that peace. My, my brother, uh, I didn't come back for interaction at the point in question. Okay. Let me say this to you. All right. We have I've been involved in a highly sensitive and uh, sensitive meeting, security meetings. Okay. And uh, I am not doing it in my capacity as a lawyer only. Okay. I'm doing it in my capacity as a lawyer to Nambi Okay. Uh, did you hear that? He has been involving in the security meeting. And he was doing it in the capacity of a lawyer to Mazin Nambi So I do not know whether Mazin Nambi Kanu sent a offer to go and have sensitive security meeting with Southeast governors. But let us listen. And I'm, I'm doing it as a, my as a national, nationalist. Okay. He was also doing it as a nationalist, which means one Nigerianist. He was defending Mazen Ambikano, and at the same time, Ejofo was having a meeting as a nationalist, one Nigerianist, at the same time defending Mazen Ambikano. And that led Ejofo 
to have a sensitive security meeting. Now, ask me, is a geophore part of security in Biafra land to go and involve himself in security, sensitive security meeting? Or is it because a geophore have access to Mazen Namdekano as a representative of Mazen Namdekano that gave him the opportunity to be invited for a sensitive security meeting? Where a geophore will now travel to save so many churches to make uh, to be talking about peace that led to killings of Eastern Security Network and then eventually led to the kidnap of Mazin and Dikano from Kenya. Let us I say after today, the questions I asked from the beginning will answer itself. But before then, let us enjoy the dragon fire. You must go and listen to Simon Ekpa, who is doing a very fantastic job. Very great job that Simon Ekpa is doing. Very, very, absolutely fantastic job that he's doing. You must listen to him and share his videos accordingly. Very, very important. He is bringing a new dimension to this very awareness that we are making. And you must listen to him. Very, very important. Here we go. The fifth was to interact with the churches in order to find peace for the South East. In that interaction, were you acting as an independent lawyer, as a concerned citizen, as also a red cap chief in the Igbo nation, or were you representing any organization in seeking for that peace? My, my brother, uh, I didn't come back for interaction at the point in question. Let okay. me say this to you. Okay. We have I've been involved in a highly sensitive and uh, sensitive meetings, security meetings. Okay. And uh, I am not doing it in my capacity as a lawyer only. Okay. I'm doing it in my capacity as a lawyer to Nambi All right. And I do. Okay. And I'm, I'm, I'm doing it as a, my capacity as a nationalist. Uh -huh. He's doing it as a nationalist. At the same time, double standard. How can a GO4 be going to security, sensitive security meetings, doing it as Mazen Amdekano's representative, and at the same time, he was in the same meeting as a nationalist? Conflict of interest. Conflict of interest. Who cannot be stand by? Who cannot stand by when things are going wrong? Did you hear that? A GO4 say he cannot stand by. When things are going wrong, 
my people, as a Jofo, what is it that is going wrong? What is it that is going wrong that a Jofo cannot stand by? Leading to the involvement of Mazena and Bekano, that a Jofo cannot stand by and see things going wrong. What was it that was going wrong? That a Jofo want to now step in to get involved in sensitive security meeting that led to the kidnap of Mazena and Bekano and killing of ESN. What is it that a Jofo did not want to stand by and watch? And the both parties have my endorsement. I'm not going to it as well. He said the both parties have his endorsement. Which party have they have endorsed the Jofo to go into sensitive security meeting with <laughs> Chineke? A Jofo say both parties have his endorsement. So let us listen. Here is the confession of how Mazenam Dekano and the Eastern Security Network has been paying the biggest price. And the um, sensitive meetings, security meetings. And uh, I am not doing it in my capacity as a lawyer only. I'm doing it in my capacity as a lawyer to Nambekano and IPOD. And I'm, I'm, I'm doing it as a my as nationalist, two nationalist, who cannot be stand by, who cannot stand by when things are going wrong. Okay. And the, both parties have my endorsement. Both parties. I'm not going to say it as a they have my endorsement. Even okay. the co police and everybody know is away. Did you hear that? The police have his endorsement. Everybody is away. IPOB, according to him, because I don't know, he said he have the endorsement. So everybody is aware. The police is aware. Nigeria is aware. Age of four is the middle man. Age of four is the middle man, and everybody have his endorsement. So Age of four now went into this particular secret and very sensitive meeting that because he don't want to sit back and see things go wrong. And I do not know what a Jofo say. And I don't know what was going wrong when people are fighting for their freedom. But that thing a Jofo started doing, even before Mazenam Dekano was kidnapped, he in increased it to the maximum. That is where you see there is no sit at home. Onyendu is in high spirit. Uh, Kasu is sit at home. Uh, everybody must keep calm. Onyendu is coming out tomorrow. Onyendu is coming out yesterday. Onyendu is coming out uh, this evening. Just to have election. Onyendu is because a Jofo was involved in a very sensitive security meeting. That is why this exposition I'm doing in a Jofo is piercing the heart of Southeast governors because he, a Jofo, is their eyes in IPOB. Have you now seen why I say a Jofo is the eye of the Nigeria government in IPOB? But you know, you know what a Jofo did? A Jofo told all the immediate rat every attack that was coming to Simon Ekpa was coming from a Jofo because a Jofo say on no account over his dead body because he know he cannot compromise me. A Jofo say over his dead body will he allow Mazenam the Kano order for me to pilot the affair of Biafra to stand. A Jofo swing into action. In fulfillment of this security sensitive meeting a Jofo is having. I want you people to listen and listen very attentively. Why the killers in the south is why killing people? Why killing people civilians? Why killing people who are made like Okay. This is the problem. It's solvable. There's a solution to that problem. Okay. There's a solution because you have to explain to somebody to understand a solution to that problem. A Jafar was looking for solution. A Jafar solution is not to get Biafra. A Jafar solution is not to tell the Southeast governors where he is having a meeting with that, you know. You can, people can talk about this referendum. You people can talk about this freedom. You people can talk about this. Let us see where the people belong. But no, Ejofor is telling you there must be a solution because he cannot stay and people will be killing and all that. And the way to stop this is by Ejofor conspiring with these people to kidnap Mazin and the Khan. By Ejofor conspiring with these people to kill heavy men in IPOB, like the commanders of the Eastern Security Network. And you, you are going to hear how Ejofo left the meeting from the bishop and he went to his house. Jesus Christ. Listen. Like this, it will stop. What is this solution? As for Ejofo say, there's a solution to this. And once that solution is applied, this whole thing will stop. Now, what solution is Ejofo talking about here? Is the solution Ejofo talking about is bringing Biafra? Is the solution that you're talking about is pulling the military out of Afra land? Is the solution that you're talking about is kidnapping Mazenam Dekano? Or 
The solution that you're talking about applying is to kill all the security commanders and the so because you know we need to know which one is a job for talking about if you apply this particular this thing the whole thing will end because you know he is speaking in a coded language so let us hear him again by my class as the national two nationalist mm -hmm. who cannot be stand by who cannot stand by when things are going wrong okay and both parties have my endorsement. Okay, but I'm not just saying it because it's a school matter. They okay. have my endorsement. Even okay. the co police and everybody know is our way. Uh -huh. Police. Why the killers in the south is why killing people? Why killing innocent civilians? Okay. Why killing people who are male and victims? Okay. It's solvable. There's a solution to that problem. Solution to that problem. There's a solution because you have to explain to somebody to understand a solution to that problem. Okay. You have to explain to somebody which a job for is not telling you who is this somebody that you have to explain to to say that is a problem, that is a solution. And that solution, and once that solution is applied, this it will stop. And once that solution is applied, it will stop. Ajo four is not telling you that this solution is Biafra. Ajo four is not telling you that this solution is freedom. Or but Ajo four have a solution that once it is applied, this whole problem will stop. And that solution I am telling you today is to kidnap Mazin Amdikano, kill all his commanders. That is why immediately Mazen Amdikano was renditioned to Nigeria. Edu of connived with the criminals in the DOS to betray Mazen Amdikano. And they have destroyed everything. Or, of course, they cannot. They try to destroy everything. That is the solution Edu of brought to the Southeast governors that will be the end of this whole problem. He see it as a problem. And because I am genuinely fighting for Biafra, Edu of made me the worst enemy. Edu of turned against me and they say Simon Ekpa over his dead body will Simon Ekpa pilot the affair of Biafra because he knows that uh, we are going to bring Biafra next year and he cannot stop us. So I want you people to listen to Ejiofo. That's what I was doing. The entire stakeholders, the governors of the South, they are fully on the north. Did you hear that? That's what he was doing. The entire stakeholder, the governor of the South is. All of them are on the no. Listen to it, or I didn't say it. Killing people. Why killing innocent students? Why killing people who are made like victims? It's solvable. There's a solution to that problem. There's a solution because you have to explain to somebody to understand a solution to that problem. And that solution, and once that solution is applied, this it will stop. The solution is keep that person mm -hmm. The entire stakeholders, the governors of the South, they are fully on the no. Stakeholders, the governors of the South, they are fully on the no. Mm -hmm. The security agents are fully on the law. Do we hear that? The governors of the South, they are fully on the law. Okay. The security agents are fully on the law. Do you hear that? The governors are on the law. The security agents are on the law. And is the governor. The security agents are fully on the law. Okay. The governors of the South, they are fully on the law. Okay. The security agents are fully on the law. Okay. Are you hearing it? The governors of the South, they are fully on the law. All right. The security agents are fully on the law. Okay. Killing people. Why killing? Why killing who are like victims? It's solvable. There's a solution to that problem. There's a solution. You have to explain to somebody to understand a solution to that problem. Yes. And that solution, and the one that solution is applied, this it will stop. Uh -huh. That's what I was doing. Yes. The entire stakeholders, the governors of the South, they are fully on the north. Exactly. The security agents are fully on the north. Exactly. Because it is clear how so you see it. And your phone was having meeting, very highly classified sensitive security meeting with the Southeast governors as a, as a, a, a general, general Geoffo. Uh, general Geoffo uh, of IPOB is having security meeting. You can imagine where, where Geoffo is having a sensitive security meeting, which he say there is a solution. And once you apply this solution, it is going to stop. And this every stakeholder, when he's when the Jofo say every stakeholder, he is talking about Ohanes and Debo. He is talking about Southeast governors. He is talking about politicians. Every stakeholder is of the no. He went further to tell you Nigeria police, DSS, army, security agent, including the Fulani Asorok, are all on the no to apply this particular solution that will stop everything. And that solution is kill the PA in his house. That solution is kill Ikonso. It was simultaneously. And then after these safety men, who will not rebel against them, have been killed. 
kidnap Mazin Ambekano. While this was going on, this the plan to kidnap him in Kenya was already ongoing. Edio 4 is applying this solution. And today, after they kidnapped Mazin Ambekano, Edio 4 was assuring them this is really the solution. And we are going to do everything to make sure that the peace returns and nobody will agitate again. That was the reason. Every time a Jofo tell you, calm down. You see the reason why? What I know you don't know. I told you people, what you do not know is bigger than you. Every day, Onyendu is in a high spirit to a Jofo to continue to apply the solution he was discussing with the governors and the police. Every day, Onyendu is in high spirit. Why Onyendu was dying? Why Onyendu don't sleep with pillow? Why Onyendu don't have medical attention? Why Onyendu was not eating? Why Onyendu is machiating and wearing one cloth? Age of four was coming Biafra's down for one year until I raised alarm that Onyendu was not okay. Until I raised alarm that Onyendu cloth need to be changed. That was when Age of four came out for the very strong, for the very first time to talk about Onyendu condition in DSS. But that is why Age of four was discussing with the governors, telling the governors I am in charge. Tell the governors I'm in charge. Oh, you do tell a Jofo, tell Simon Epa to pilot the affair of the Biafra until I come out. A Jofo say over his dead body. A Jofo communicate with men on ground. Everybody must calm down. You must calm down. He go there and they give them money. He, he said, I'm, I'm in charge. I'm in charge. A Jofo came to me several times. We should, uh, Oyen do say I should mellow down in this uh, no Anambra election. Oyen do say everybody should let them arm. They come to Radio Biafra, they announce, all oh, men, let them your arm. Everyone, uh, this one is a criminal. He's a kidnapper, go and kill him. This one is a, uh, you are kidnapping. You are working for someone. Do you, do you now see the reason why they mastermind the killing of everybody that stand for Biafra, which is autopilot? They mastermind the killing of heavy commanders. They kill many commanders. They tell you, are you not afraid of death? Go now. Go and join Biafra, real Biafra fighters, and you are going to die. Today, these criminals in IPOB, they are parading themselves saying, come back to also, Onyendu is coming out. They are preparing their ground to go into agitation again. While we are talking about getting Biafra in 2023, they are organizing themselves to come back to struggle for Biafra when Onion do come out. Have you not heard about them? They are calling everybody. They say, all oh, those people, they sack. Come on. If you do not come out now, Onion do come out, there will be no place for you. They are preparing to go into agitation. Why we are preparing to get freedom by next year? Have you seen anything like that? That is why when I am attacking Nigeria government, they are attacking me. Age of four, tell them to attack me. When I even when I am not talking about them, even when I don't talk anything about IPOB, when I come to expose Fulani, they attack me. If you go to uh, social media, anytime I post about Buhari, they attack me. Anytime I post about Malami, they attack me. And you'll be wondering, is it not the same people that you are fighting freedom with? When the time I talk about the enemy of Biafra, they attack me. When I attack them, they attack me. When I attack Nigeria, they attack me because a Jofo was behind it. A Jofo said, if this particular solution we are bringing we must work, which is to kidnap Pazina and the Kano. That's why I came. I said, dear friends, what I know, you do not know it. We must make the kidnap of Mazin and the Kano very, very, very expensive. We must make sure that the continual detention of Mazin and the Kano will be very expensive than the cost of releasing him. You people don't know where I'm coming from. What I know, you don't know it. I said, we must make sure that this particular idea that a Jofo brought and discussed with the Southeast governor to kidnap Mazin and the Kano, that it is going to end the Biafra agitation. We must make it very useless. We must make sure that kidnapping Mazin and the Kano will become worthless. I went further to say, I will never receive any order from Mazin and the Kano in DSS dungeon because Age of Four is in charge. You see, I don't need to say a lot of things. Not time yet. I'm still waiting for Age of Four. I'm still waiting for him. But I want everybody to think about what I'm doing today. Age of Four. I am 100,000 steps ahead of you, the Southeast governors, and the Nigeria at large. I don't know what it is. 
I am telling you, if you come to a tradition, God is there. If you come to your Aroshi, God is there. If you call it Tiankiji, Adiyan and Kenji, Bolana Piagi, Guinea Haneme, the land of Biafra is with me. And it your four, I said, if I open my mouth, you will be no more. How many of you remember some days ago when the Jehovah first start to come, to come? I am thanking this uh, criminals, this one, the attachment. I am thanking this uh, one, uh, wife of Onyendu. I am thanking all the media person, the OSOG. I am thanking these are the idiots that were being used by Barista Ejofo to destroy Biafra. And then again, I tell Ejofo, if you attack me, he come, he call us infiltrator. If your four call us infiltrator, if your four call us all manner of name, if your four will come and release a statement, they are going to share it. If your four is targeting every time he come, he put something in the statement and they will copy that thing. They say, if your four has visited Onyendu, come and see what Onyendu said today. Onyendu is not saying anything to a four. I want you people to go to Emmanuel Okano. Emmanuel Okano update a few days ago. When I, I, I said that Ejofo may not, Ejofo don't, probably Ejofo is not allowing him to go to see Onyendu because each time Emmanuel Kano want to see any politician without informing Ejofo, Ejofo will get angry. Ejofo will not allow him to go to DSS to see Onyendu. So finally, the next day, Emmanuel, Emmanuel Kano, which is on the, on the 14th, Emmanuel Kano, I want everybody to go to Emmanuel Kano's uh, post. You are going to see the update Emmanuel Kano brought from DSS. He said, Onyendu say we must get Biafra. Go and check it. It is there in his, in his profile. But the Jofo came out. The Jofo was giving you another uh, update from the same man that Emmanuel Kano said, Onyendu say we must stand on our Biafra. But the Jofo came out to give you a different, a different uh, update from the same man. That is the reason why, apart from the fact that Ejofo is a compromised criminal, Onyendu being in the dungeon, we cannot take orders from him until he come out. So have you seen it now? Those of you, if you are, if you are, uh, 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 if you are a Biafran today and you were deceived by Barrister Ejofo, and his criminals in, in DOS. And you really were deceived that you don't know what we are doing. And what you heard that your first say today, having meeting, sensitive meeting, security meeting with Southeast governors before Mazen Amdekano was kidnapped. And the, the role he was playing to apply a solution that if you apply this solution, it will stop. And you are listening to these brokers today. And after today, you still go and Beat the drum of those working with the Jofo. Allah Biafra will never forgive you. But let us continue. Stop. People have lost three of them, three of them people. Okay. Okay. Boy, across the across the state, River State is, is uncountable. Yes. Mm -hmm. They have to tell them, look, there's this, there's this matter has to be solved. Okay. Yes, it has to be solved. They know, they know what I'm doing. Yes, they know what you're doing. Kill Mazenam the Kano and it will be solved. It is not even to kidnap him. The plan of these people was to kill him in Kenya. Everybody know it. It did not work out. Apply this thing. And you know, everybody knows what we are, what I'm doing. But do you ever believe that a Jofo was communicating and doing something with the Southeast governors? You don't know. But he confessed here. I have waited for this day to come. That the governors of the state they are fully on the law. Okay. And I build it. And I have, and I'm doing it as a my class as a nationalist, two nationalist, who cannot be stand by, who cannot stand by when things are going wrong. Okay. And the, both parties have my endorsement. All right. I'm not going to do it as because it's criminal. They okay. have my endorsement. Even the police and everybody know is away. Okay. Why are the killers in the south is why killing people? Why killing innocent civilians? Why killing people who are made like that? Okay. It's solvable. There's a solution to that problem. All right. There's a solution. You have to explain to someone to understand a solution to that problem. Okay. With that, somebody's person. And the one solution is applied. It will stop. Okay. 
That's what I was doing. Uh -huh. The entire stakeholders, the governors of the South, they are fully on the north. Yes, they are aware. The security agents are fully on the north. Okay. Because the, the clear has to stop. The clear has to stop. People have lost more than 10 of them, 10 of them because in the most state. Okay. Anambra, Elboy. Across the country, mm. River State is, is uncounted. Okay. People are being killed every day. All right. They have to approach them to tell them, look, they're seeing that this matter has to be solved. Yes. They know, they know what I'm doing. They know what you're doing. They know I'm not to threat anybody. They don't mm. want to threat to security them. They yes. don't want to threat anybody. Uh -huh. They didn't do the criminals who are hell bent on finding a way to set to limit me. Mm -hmm. Want to rely on that uh, on that on that on, on that situation to, to have their way, they have their way to, to, to my house, mm -hmm. to my life. So the the meetings I attended, the meeting I attended at Archbishop. Yeah. Was meeting, I, I was a meeting, I was informed about on the same I came back. Are you hearing the meeting that your four attended at the Archbishop? That made him night at the meeting. A Joe Four was informed the same day he came back. Or oh, let us listen. I was informed about that meeting on the same day I came back. All right. Because I came back to a meeting I had on the following day, being Sunday, that's June 2021. Uh -huh. A Joe Four came back for a meeting he had on the Sunday. And A Joe Four house was attacked on Saturday. Do you know that after the attack, on AJ, according to A Joe Four, after the attack in A Joe Four's house, where somebody, a PA, was killed, burnt to ashes. A four still went to that meeting the same day. I want you people to watch the same meeting that a four came back for. So that meeting was set for 10 o'clock at some place. I will not mention here. You will not when mention it. Before a four was going on the uh, going to a security meeting in a place you will not mention here. Because you know it is a very sensitive security meeting. If you mention it here, you are going to know those who were involved in kidnapping Mazen Amdikan. So he's not going to mention where the meeting of that Sunday was to take place. Why Mazen Amdikan was somewhere in Kenya. They were facilitating the kidnap of Onyendu to stop insecurity. That is why a Jofo will come and tell you, eh, the Onyendu say, all oh, the criminal should stop. I have asked him. Is only do sending criminal? Is only do sending car snatchers? Is only do sending kidnappers? Is only do the one that is killing people with full and in them? Is only do the age before we come and tell you and write and write? Only do say all the criminals should stop. And you see, they, all of them are sharing it. What they are doing now is that age before told them to go and start uh, 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 arresting people, make a video, and they say they are fake, they are ESL. They have the one they call fake ESL. They have the one they call original ESL just to cause problem to make sure that we they destroy everything so now they parade themselves on social media and each time they make those videos they write simon Eper boys fake esn fake esn you have not asked yourself this so-called real esn and the so-called fake esn the real esn have never shown you the one they are showing you know we know what we are doing we know what our esn is they are doing they are trying but you know the war is in all front. But I want to tell you, those people that are sharing the video of the so-called fake ESN, people that went to steal goat, they say they went to steal goat, they become fake ESN. You can imagine our ESN are stealing goat. <laughs> so they will go and make this video, arrest people or kill people who are stealing goat. They give them gone. They say they are ESN. The question you have not asked you is that, how many times have this so-called Diary ESN ever showed you a video of how they capture Fulani terrorists? How many times have the so-called real ESN showed you a video where they went to Four Corner in Enugu State to confront the Fulani? Diary ESN is not making those videos. Diary ESN is only killing Biafrans, looking for picking pocket in Biafra land to kill. Diary ESN is not going to forest to fight Fulani. Have you seen them presenting you video of a Fulani that have got AK-47 they captured? If you see anything like that, show me, because I have not seen. But Ejo 4 is the engineer just to blackmail Simon Epa. What Simon Epa is doing because we revived ESN. And today, ESN is stronger than before. Yet, Ejo 4 is pushing the ERAT. writers, they share video everywhere. Oh, come. Simon Epa boys, they have captured them. 
Ask them to show you video of Fulani. The real ESN they are claiming they are. Is it not to confront Fulani? Let them show you one video where they have captured Fulani. And they are, Fulani is speaking Fulani, Fufude. And they are videoing him. They have not done that. Ejofo told them to focus on Bia France. You can imagine people that went to steal goat. Goat. Yeah. They call them fake ESN. Yet, the real ESN that they claim they have, have not shown us video of how they capture Fulani. But we know what our ESN they are doing. We don't share videos. We don't share. Have you ever seen me share video? I don't, don't, don't have that time. We know what we are doing. They are feeling it. But if they have access to the kind of videos we are having from real ESN, uh, you know, from the ESN, not real, you know, they have Ezibotu Muchineke. They come to IPOB, Biafra struggle now. Ejo 4 manufactured Ezibotu Muchineke. Ejo 4 also manufactured real ESN and fake ESN. So it is the work of Ejo 4. But we have videos, we don't share it. If they have access to such video, just they get it, bah, they share, hey, look at what ESN is doing. Even when they, they are ESN demonstrate and they hang themselves on the, in the tree, they take picture and they share it on social media. When they were see, when they were when they, they are, their government are singing, they take picture and they share it. We don't do that. Even when our men, the, the picture mistakenly leaked to them, they share it. Only when we come to correct them. So I want you people to understand if you have been deceived by a Joe 4 who is the brain behind all the chaos, the kidnap of Mazinam the Kano. I know that a lot of people will not believe this yet, but don't worry, I am still coming. I have not exposed the Joe 4. What I did to those who I did it to before is small thing. A Joe 4 in fact, let me not go there yet, but time is coming. Let him not let him not leave this legacy. I was called to be informed about the decision by the hospital. I was when I was going there, I think I was going to a private discussion. Okay. That borders on short religious issue. So okay. when I got there, the, the my grace to use grace, try commending the You see, you are commending a job for, for his effort in restoration. Because they went there, started commending him for his effort. Who knows? While that commendation of effort was going on, a Jofo PA was there with a Jofo. So does it mean that this PA saw something he's not supposed to see? Because a Jofo did not know why he was invited to that particular meeting. He was thinking that the meeting was a normal meeting and maybe he went there and the reverend or the archbishop or whoever that was there began to open up and maybe PA to a Jofo had something he is not supposed to hear. It was that same night he was killed. And the fact is that this same PA that a Jofo that was killed in a Jofo house, this particular archbishop Prayed for the PA. A Jofo kneeled down. He prayed for a Jofo and prayed for the IPA. It was only two of them that needed prayer. I want you to watch. So I supposed to live without being without being afraid of anybody in the course of the signing of only this. And IPB has never offended anybody because I stepped me. So but this thing has to be talked about. You have to see that I expect people to understand that these guys have legitimate claim. Yes. They have to be addressed. Mm -hmm. You can't you see you can't solve a problem by applying violence. You cannot stop. You cannot I, be stopped. Okay. They have to be listened to. Okay. And know what the agreements are. Okay. And possibly know how to resolve it. Okay. In certain clients, in certain, in certain clients, I should be the kind of person that says to be protected, everybody should be protected. Are you hearing that? In certain uh, clan, a Jofo should be the one that they should be carrying with a, with a helicopter because he has done this thing that nobody could do. He has done so. And Mazinam Dikanu may not have knowledge 
of all this. Ejofo is explaining here. So Ejofo is telling you now that normally Nigeria government should make him O O N. Is it what is it? Uh, the, uh, you know, MFR. All this they are rubbish. MFR member of the Niger or whatever those nonsense. So Ejofo is now telling you, and that is why they made him the knight. I want to tell you the reason why they give him the knighthood. So Ejofo was compensated. Because of his involvement in trying to destroy Biafra, they invited him and they made him knight. So I want you to watch. You have to listen to them. No, what's what's actually the problem? Can we can, can we resolve it? It's not by killing them. It's not by sending uh, by the uh, uh, military to go and kill them. It's not by sending police to go and kill them. Okay. This thing can be resolved. It's solvable. I made it to them today. It's solvable. Okay. And because of me, because of my effort, we've been able to achieve 50 to 70 percent of the tourism. Did you hear that? Because of my effort, we have been able to achieve 50 to 70 percent peace in my region. How was that peace achieved? According to Ejo, for probably maybe he will say, kill a consul, you will achieve peace. Kill uh, my PA, the so called PA, you will achieve peace. Kill uh, Mazenam Dekano in Kenya, you will achieve peace. Kill all the commanders of the IPOB. You are going to achieve peace. Otherwise, can a Jofor put us more light for us to know how he is achieving this peace for 50%? <laughs> I don't know. How did a Jofor manage to achieve peace 50%? I want you people to watch. Maybe Simon Ekpa uh, and the IPOB now is the remaining 50%. So let us listen. I didn't say it too. I know what the agreement is at. I'm personally know how to resolve it. In certain clients, in certain, in certain clients, I should be the kind of person that says should be protected. Everybody should be protected. Okay, everybody should protect your phone. You have to listen to them. No, what's what's actually the problem? Can, can, we, can, can we resolve it? Okay. It's not by killing them. It's not by sending uh, 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 military to Ghana and kill them. It's not by sending police to Ghana and kill them. Uh, how? How? This thing can be resolved. It's solvable. I made it to them to them. It's solvable. So can you tell us what you propose to them? How this solvable should be... Uh, so how is it going to be solved? You don't just come here and say, you made it clear to them. Tell us how did you make it clear, clear to them? What was your proposal to them? What was it your proposal? What that proposal is your forgave to the governors how to solve it. And because of me, because of my effort, we've been able to achieve 50 to 70 percent of the tourism. Did you hear that? All right. Okay. Not by, them, not by sending uh, by the, uh, military people. I made it to them today, they saw them. And because of me, because of my effort, we've been able to achieve 50 to 70 percent of the tourism. Because of my because of my effort, we have been able to achieve peace 50 percent so in my region. I made it to them today, they saw them. And because of me, because of my effort, we've been able to achieve 50 to 70 percent of the tourism. Okay. In our region. See, Are you hearing region. it? I made it to them today, they saw them. And because of me, because of my effort, we've been able to achieve 50 to 70 percent of the tourism in, in, in our region. Because of my effort. I made it to them today, they saw them. And because of me, because of my effort, we've been able to achieve. 50 to 70 percent of peace in the region. 50 in, in to 70 percent of peace in the region. All right. So even now, even even after the invasion of your house, mm. you were not deterred because you believe in having peace. <laughs> so what you're saying is, even after <laughs> that, you still let me know. Let me say. Okay. If I was discouraged by the event of 6th of the 7th, July, June 2nd, 91. Things will be going worse. Okay. This will be going worse. I know that people who came to my house, mm. they have other intentions. Okay. They have underlying motive. Yes. Our intention is to cause trouble. Yes. In the land. Exactly. Their intention is to cause more confusion. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. And if I had come out and said, please, I, can, I won't take this, I won't take this, I won't take uh -huh. this. And I must find I must everywhere, Morocco. It was fire to fire. You yes. know what will be happening in our region now? Yes. For me saying that. <laughs> Women saying they don't want to be under illusion. Yes. But I wasn't discouraged. Okay. You may, you may be shocked to know uh -huh. at this stage. Uh -huh. I remember meeting I, sh I shared with the on, on that Sunday. Sunday, you still I went. Him, I that uh -huh. You see? Did that shocked you to know. Uh, it shocked me. Yeah. Did you hear that? In Jofo, after people were killed in his house, he went to the meeting the next day. 
he did not have remorse for a whole PA that the Jofo claimed that he has worked with him for four years was brutally murdered, killed and burnt to ashes. A Jofo did not have respect for this guy because he knows what happened to him. He prepared for it. So it was not a shock. A Jofo picked up his body, his car, and everything, went to meet him the next day upon all the things that happened in his house. That is to show you Ejiofo was not surprised. Ejiofo was part and parcel of planning to kill gentle. Did you hear that? Let me play it again and I will put it in full uh, screen. I was 